died to the flesh today. And we say, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. We come casting down imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of you. And we bring into captivity every thought unto the obedience of Christ. You told us that obedience was better than sacrifice. So God, we thank you that we're willing and obedient servants, Father God. We declare the decree that Jesus Christ is Lord of our lives and that no one but Jesus sits on the throne of our lives. And we don't hear the voice of the stranger, but we hear the voice of the good shepherd. Your voice only will we follow, pursue, and obey. Your voice only will we follow, pursue, and obey. We are sensitive to your Holy Spirit. And when you say this is the way walking therein, we walk in therein. When you say turn to the right, we turn to the right. God, we thank you for your leadership, your guidance, and your direction. We hallow your name tonight, Jehovah Rapha, because you are the Lord God that healeth us. Not the Lord God that, that treats God, but you heal. So God, we thank you that you sent your word and you heal us, God. We thank you that healing is the children's bread. And we thank you that while we were yet in our sin, you sent Christ to die for the ungodly. So we thank you, Father God, for the blood of Jesus that covers us from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. And we bless you tonight because you made a judgment seat and you turned it into a mercy seat, God. Then we come full boldly tonight before you throw the grace that we might obtain mercy in a time of need. God, and we know that there's a time now that we need you like never before, Father. We pray for young people, Father God. We pray for middle-aged people. We pray for older people, God. We pray for senior, senior citizens, Father. We pray tonight that the blessings of the Lord continue to make us rich and have no sorrow. God, we thank you, Father God that you relieve us from all stress, strain, and anxiety. We hallow your name tonight, Jehovah Shalom, because you are our peace. And there's nothing broken and nothing missing in our lives, Father. Because of you, we are whole, we are complete, we have everything we need. You supplied us with each and every one of our needs. And you told us that we would delight ourselves in you, that you would give us also the desires of our hearts. So God, we seek you while you may be found. We'll call upon you while you are here. And we'll answer you. You will answer us and show us great and wondrous things that we did not know. We say great is the Lord and great is to be praised. We thank you, God, that we pray tonight even as the angels pray. We cry, holy, 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 holy is the Lord. God, power, and might. We thank you, Father God, that blessed is the man who puts his trust in you. We thank you that you took sickness away from the midst of us and with your strife. We are healed. Therefore, we curse cancer cells. We curse leukemia, any type of blood disease. We thank you that the very DNA of Jesus, the Lord Christ, runs through our veins. God, we thank you that you've not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and of love and of a sound, disciplined mind. So, God, we thank you that we come to you tonight and we come to you in faith. Nothing wavering, for he that wavers like a wave of his good city. Driven with the wind and talks, but let not that man or that woman think that they should receive anything of you, O oh God. For a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. So we thank you tonight for stability. We thank you for mental stability. We thank you for physical stability. We thank you for relational stability. We thank you for financial stability. We thank you, God, that you'll cause us to be stable in every area of our life. You're Jehovah Shalom tonight. And you are our peace. And because you are our peace, there is nothing broken and nothing missing in our lives. You make us whole. You make us complete. You said, happy is he who, who serves the Lord. So, God, we thank you as we serve you. Happiness is contingent upon uh, God. Uh, what's going on in our lives? And so we thank you to feel the joy of the Lord as our strength. We bless you tonight that the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through you. As to pulling down strongholds, therefore we come past you down imagination and every high thing and exalt itself against the knowledge of you, O oh God. And we bring into captivity every thought unto the perfect obedience of Christ. Every contrary thought against the word of God, against the knowledge of God. We bring that, we cast that thing down and out into the abyss where it shall never rise and return again. God, we come up against suicide tonight. We come binding and rebuking the spirit of suicide. God, the very thoughts intended of God. We thank you. You told us you keep us in perfect peace if our mind will be stayed on you. So God, we thank you for peace of mind tonight. 
We thank you. We may not have all the answers and all the solutions, God, but we thank you for giving us peace of mind tonight. We thank you that with your peace you lead us and with your peace you guide us. So, Father, we follow after your peace. We don't have no strife in our life, no contention, no confusion. <clears throat> we come by in the spirit of confusion, manipulation, and usury off the lives of our family. We, we renounce the hidden works of the iniquity of the sin of slavery. We come, come, come up against every ungodly soul tie tonight, Father God. We thank you. We buy it in order as affection, Father God. Everything that's not like you, we say, let God rise, let his enemies be scattered. We say, have to wait tonight, Holy Spirit, in the earth realm. We come praying for our city, Chickasaw, Mobile, Sarah Lane, Sim, Will, surround there, Pensacola, Florida. God, we come praying for the United States of America tonight. We lift it up before you. We come praying for our leader, Joe Biden, and the president, Joe Biden, and his entire cabinet, Father God. We pray for proof. In this war tone situation, Father, we thank you, God, that your hand is not too short that you can't heal. But, God, we know your word is coming to pass. You said in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits, even to themselves having teachers, having itching ears. God, we don't have itching ears in here. We thank you. We want to hear your word. We want to hear from you, God, line upon line, precept upon precept. We want to thank you, God, for this is a wide as the gate that leads to destruction. But now is the way. To salvation. So, God, we thank you for revealing to us the narrow way, God. We thank you, God, that it's not by power nor by might, but by it through the Holy Spirit. So, we move in the Spirit tonight. We yield to the Holy Spirit. We come thank you, Lord God, that our lungs and all the old eyes, they function according to your creative design. God, we come by your sinus infections, God, your allergies, God. We come with you and every evil work of the enemy in the night, Father. We thank you, Father God, that we come up against migraine headaches, God. Back pains, Father. We rebuke uh, every type of growth, thigh broad tumors, God. Cysts. Anything growing in our bodies that run like you, God, we curse it to the root right now. We command it to die and pass from our bodies, God. We thank you, Lord. That is in you we get to remove when we have our being. We can do nothing without you, but we've been called you. We can do all things. All things have been made possible under us because we believe. We thank you that the greater one. The greater one is operating in our lives. The greater one, the greater one is operating in our lives. The greater one, the greater one is operating in our lives. And it's in him we put our trust. We thank you, Father God. Some trust in chair, some trust in king, but we will put our trust in the most high God. We lift the name up tonight, El Elyon, because you are the most high God. There's no other God besides you. You're the God, Lord, Lord and King of Kings. You are he that was, he that is, and he that is to come. You are he that was, he that is, and he that is to come. So we thank you that we are able to say, even so come, Lord Jesus. We thank you that we are able to say tonight, even so come, Lord Jesus. We thank you for the power and the manifestation of the Holy Spirit as we yield to it. And God, you told us as many as us are led by the Spirit, we are the sons. And the daughters of God, we thank you, Father God, for the privilege to pray. Because you hear not said his prayers, but because we worship with you, you hear us and you do always answer our prayers. You've given us all things that pertain unto life and God is mine through and in Christ Jesus. We thank you for every intercessor that's being birthed, trained, raised, and developed during these times, God. We thank you for this 21 days of fasting. As we push away, <coughs> we bring the Bring our flesh in the subjection to you, Father. We, we bring our flesh in the subjection to you, Father. We bring our flesh into subjection to you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, we die to the flesh today. We die to the flesh today. And we say that God arrived and every one of his enemies be scattered. We thank you for fighting against those that fight against us. God, we thank you for fighting against those that fight against us. And God, we bless you for leaving us not into temptation. And, and leaving us not into temptation. Leaving us not into temptation. And delivering us from evil. We thank you, Father God, that it's a real Lord that we put, put our trust. God, you are our strength. God, we thank you that you are our strength. You go before us as a truth. And you bless us, God. You bless the works of our hands, God. You told us if a man didn't work, he would see So we thank you for financial and opportunities. And opportunities to increase. And God, that we might have seed to sow into your kingdom work, Father. We thank you that we declare the creed and 
we call in over five million dollars until this day. I stand in agreement with what the woman of God pronounced the other night. God, street blessings, y'all. We call everything paid. We thank you that all of our needs are met. We are out of debt. We have plenty more to put in store. We thank you tonight that all of our needs are met and we have plenty more to put in store. We thank you tonight that all of our needs are met and we have plenty more to put in store. Now, we thank you. That God, we got we got surplus of income, Father God. That we lack nothing. That we lack nothing in our personal lives, God. Because you can trust us with your finances, Father God. Even as time is shifting and time is changing, you said a faithful man would abound in blessings. So God, we thank you that we don't operate on the world's economy, but we're operating on your economy, Father. And we say, greater is you, are you that is in us than he that is in the world. We thank you, God, that our excellency is of you. That each and every one of our goals, our accomplishment, and the things that we achieve, they're done by and through you. We thank you, Father, for the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you tonight for the power of the Holy Spirit. And we lose that power. And we lose that power, Father. And we thank you, God. Ooh, how you moving? How you moving by your grace, God? For by grace we say we these men man both. So we thank you, Father God, for the grace of God, for the peace of God, surpassing all understanding, guiding our hearts and our minds by and through Christ Jesus. We thank you, God, that you are a son of the shield. You give us grace and you give us glory. No good thing are you withholding from us because we walk up right before you. We thank you, Father God. That your ears are always open and ever inclined to our prayers, Father. So we thank you that we're able to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom has come. Thy will is being done in the earth, in our lives, on our jobs, in our homes, in our personal affairs, Father. We thank you that you deliver us from temptation and the evil one. God, we thank you that we stand forgiven. God has been, that if you forgive our trespasses. So, Father, we thank you for dying in the kingdom, the power, and the glory for heaven and ever. We thank you, Father God, dying in the kingdom, the power, and the glory for heaven and ever. We loose the, he loose the men of the tonight. We're going to warfare on behalf of the kingdom of God. And we stand in the gap as we intercede to God. We thank you for intercessors being birthed and raised all around the world, Father. We thank you, Father God. That that thousands of people are praying and seeking your face while you may be found and call upon you while you are living. And we bless you for showing us great and wondrous things that we do not know. God, we bless you for each and every household. God, that's in the prayer list. Uh, God, that's connected through the internet right now. God, we come praying for households. We come praying for marriage. We come praying for families, God. We pray for individuals. We pray for single parents. We pray for of uh, the blended families, Father God. We pray for those that, that, that are coming and trying to do right, God. We pray now that you would anoint them and increase them on every side, Father God. We thank you that favor is in front of us, favor is in the back, favor to the left, and favor to the right. We thank you tonight that you are the God that do it more than enough. You are El Elyon, the God that El Shaddai, the God that's more than enough, the one that has many paths for his children. We thank you, God. For being called your children. We thank you, Father, that we are the blessed seed of Abraham. We thank you, Father, that we are the blessed seed of Abraham and that the blessing of Abraham rests upon our lives, Father God. We thank you tonight that the blessing of Abraham rests upon our lives. We thank you, Father God, for blessing our going and blessing our coming. We thank you, God, for opening doors that no man can close that we want to. We close we thank you, God, that we wear favor like Joseph's new robe. We thank you, God. Oh, hallelujah. We come praying tonight for the Brown and the Williams family tonight. We pray for Zimmer Brown. We pray for Sherry Robert. We pray for the Johnson family. We pray for Zimmer God. We pray that she's making her transition. God, strengthen her family members. We pray for my wife, God. We pray for her lift up, God. We pray for her sister, God. We pray for the aunts and the brothers. And everyone, God, involved in this process, in this situation, God, we thank you that earth has no sorrow, that heaven cannot heal. So we thank you tonight for the healing bond and healing hand, and we declare and decree that with your stripes we are healed mentally, physically, emotionally. You took sickness away from the midst of us. You took sickness away from the midst of us. You took sickness away from the midst of us, and with your stripes we are healed. We're declaring that we're not the sick trying to get well. We are the way of maintaining our help. We thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you now for moving by your power. 
by your might. We thank you for anointing each and every prayer warrior, God. We thank you for the boldness to pray, God. We thank you, Lord God, for a heart and a mind to pray, Father. We thank you that the flesh don't hold you nothing spiritual, so we yield to the Holy Spirit tonight. And we thank you for that power and the privilege that you've given us now. In Jesus, all powerful, majestic, majestic name. Jesus, all powerful, all powerful, majestic name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you that you throw down that little part of the Lord. And when you boldly come to the throne of grace, Lord, we may obtain mercy, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the ability to pray and seek your face while we have time, Lord. Lord, we come praying and unseen for everyone on the ground this night, Lord God. We stay healed and hold this, Lord. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for our children, grandchildren, Lord, all the school children, teachers, the whole administration, Lord, that you cover them with your blood, Lord, and we thank you right now. Lord, we thank you for all that you have done for us and all that you will do. We thank you that we are saved, Lord. And we're being saved, and we will be saved upon your return, Lord. Lord, well, we thank you that we know. You question, Lord, because in you we live, Lord, and have our very being, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your blessings, your grace, and your mercy. Lord, we thank you that we have a financial faith profession. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you that I am anointed to prosper. My eyes open to see creative ways to increase financially. My ears open to hear the best deals. My heart is pure that you can channel finances through me. I'm on the path of perpetual increases. I am into my workplace. Wealth and riches are in my house. I declare I am the righteous of God and I have sown my seed for supernatural abundance. I live in daily expectation of increase. Money comes to me. My nature attracts money. The fear of black has been broken and has no power over me. I hear the Father's voice and the voice of limitation and intimidation. I choose not to follow. I'm free from debt. I'm the lender, not the borrower. The wealth of the wicked is being transferred to me, and I commit to establish the kingdom of God in every realm. I'm ready to distribute, and my life is a distribution challenge for God's work in there. I thank you, Father, and dare you owe me with benefits. I'm anointed to prosper. I'm on your mind because you want to increase me more and more. Abundance is your will for me because it pleases you when I prosper. I call increase, abundance, prosperity come to me now in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for the five million in excess to the word of life. I thank you for the people coming to the word of life, Lord, seeking your face and wondering what must they do to be saved, Lord. So right, sanctified, five baptized, Holy Ghost filled. Lord, we pray for all the family members of everyone that attend this sanctuary. Lord, we call blessings upon them. Lord, you say we can decree a thing and you establish that very thing, Lord. Lord, I pray healing, wholeness, fullness of years, Lord God, 120 years, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for help, strength, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Your word said, wisdom is the principal thing, and all I get to get understanding, Lord. We thank you for clear understanding that our very Lord imparts to us weekly. Lord, we thank you for depositing that word down in the stomach, Lord. That we may walk in it. We may do what it says and say what it does. Lord, we thank you that your word is a lamp to our feet. A light into our very path, Lord. We thank you now, Lord, for your rainbow word. We thank you for the logos. Lord, we thank you for the Dubai. Lord, be a manifest and fulfill in our life, Lord. Lord, we just bless your holy name, Lord. If we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't praise you enough, Lord. But we will praise you in this one. Lord, we thank you that you inhabit the praises of your people. I will bless the Lord at all times. Your praises shall continually be in my mouth. Lord, you are good 
and your mercy endures forever. Lord, you are the Alpha and the Omega in our lives. You are the beginning and the end. You're the first and the last, Lord. And we will bless you, Lord. Lord, we, we thank you that you bless the works of our hands, Lord. You give us things to do, Lord. You give us many inventions. Good ideas, Lord God. Lord, we thank you that our children are twice as wise as the children of the world, Lord. They are coming into salvation, Lord, coming to know you more and more. Walking in your statutes, Lord. And we thank you. Lord, we thank you for all that you are doing in our life right now, Lord. The increase, Lord. Lord, you give us things we don't even ask for. We don't know what to pray for as we are. But the Spirit itself makes intercessions for us, Lord. With groans, we cannot be up. And we thank you, Lord, that you sit at the right hand of the Father. It was seen for us daily. Lord, your word says you know the number of hairs on our head, Lord. That's perfect. Lord, we want to know you more and more because you say if we abide in your word, you will abide in us, Lord. We thank you for the increase of your word in our lives. We thank you that we have a teaching ministry in this church, Lord. We thank you that our pastor, he just just drops that word in our spirit and makes it so plain that we can't understand it. Lord, I pray for his wife and what she's going to do right now, the whole family. Lord, we must all pass through those same gates one day. I just pray that we be ready when you call us, Lord. Lord, we just thank you for such sharing and all the children, grandchildren, Lord. We say bless them. Increase them, Lord. Look down the peace, Lord. You are the Lord of peace. You Jehovah Shalom, Lord. And we thank you for the peace that you give us to surpass all understanding. We can't understand stuff that upsets the world, don't upset us anymore. We just know we, we know it's you, Lord. Because it's in you we live, move, and have our being. And we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Robo Shanda. I'm the devotion. Ela Bakashi in the Bosata. Thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit in dwelling. Thank you, Lord, that your spirit not only moves and removes. Lord, I thank you that we're a new creation in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you were the perpetuation for our sins. You paid the high price, Lord. And we thank you. You did a finished work, Lord. Lord, we pray that our prayer be a sweet smell and savor to you, Lord. Not a stench in your nostrils, Lord. Lord, we thank you that the affection of fervent prayer the righteous and really much. Lord, we thank you for much blessing, much healing, much faith, Lord. We know that without faith it's impossible to please you, Lord. Because we must come to you, we must know that you are, and that you are rewarded to those that look to and seek you, Lord. We come seeking you tonight, Lord, with whole heart, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you've taken away Lord, and gave us a heart of flesh. Lord, we thank you that we must have your word in three places, Lord. In our mind, in our heart, and in our mouth, Lord. We will speak your word. Continue, Lord, as long as we have breath in our mind. Because if we know that your word is quick and sharper and powerful than any two edged sword. Lord, I just decree blessings over this house. I decree blessings over this state, Lord, this nation. Lord, I pray for those in California out there where it's blood, Lord. Lord, look down upon them with your tender love and care, Lord. Still the water, Lord. Peace be still. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us from the storm. Lord, a lot of storms pass us by. And you protect us, Lord. You cover us with your blood. Because you do hear and answer prayer, Lord. We thank you for the power of prayer, Lord. Lord, we will bless your name at all times. Your praise shall continue to be in our mouth, Lord. We love you, Lord. We bless you. We give you praise, glory, and honor. Lord, let, let God arrive and all of enemies be scattered. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we thank you that all our needs are met, Lord. We thank you that we don't have any lack of any good thing, Lord, because you wish above all things that we prosper and be in hell, even as our soul prosper. Lord, we thank you for prosperity now. We thank you that our soul is prospering, Lord. We thank you that we are healthy, Lord. We are healthy, wealthy, and wise, Lord. Lord, you said that money answers all questions, Lord. Lord, we thank you that we have many questions, Lord, and you, you have been supplied. We like no good thing, Lord. We thank you. We bless you, Lord. We give you glory, praise, and honor, Lord. Lord, we just don't know what to say, but thank you. If I had 10,000 tons, I couldn't thank you enough, but I'm trying, Lord. I'm trying daily to thank you. When I wake up in the morning, thank you, Jesus. When I lie down at night, thank you, Jesus. Y'all pray with me. Pray for me. I thank you, Lord. But the power of prayer, Lord. I thank you that this is a prayer church, Lord. Everyone in here know how to pray. You've been taught by the man of God how to pray. What to pray for. How to pray the word. We speak the word only. We get out of the flesh and we get into the spirit, Lord, because in order to please you, we must come to your spirit and in truth. And we thank you for your Holy Spirit dwelling in us. We thank you for your blood that washes us, Lord. Purge us, Lord. Purge the sin out. Purge it all out, Lord. Nothing that is not like you, Lord, we don't need it. We just take it away. Take it away now, Lord. Lord, we love you. We give you praise, glory and honor, Lord. Lord, we thank you for watching over us while we sleep, Lord, giving us sweet sleep. We know that uh, he who look, watches over you, Lord, don't sleep or slumber. We know you don't go to sleep, Lord. You stay awake and watch over us and keep us safe through the night, Lord. Lord, we bless you. We give you glory, honor, and praise, Lord. Lord, we ask you to guide and direct our path, Lord. Let us stay in your word, Lord. Lord, let us stay in your word. That it clears us from the crown of our head to the soul of our feet, Lord. We come against all sickness and disease, Lord God. We curse all sickness and disease to the root because this is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Sickness and disease have no power over us. We can decree that the sickness must leave and it will be. But we have to have faith for it. You know without faith it's impossible to please you, Lord. We, we seek your faith, Lord. We seek to please you day by day. And we thank you, Lord, for all that you have done, all that you will do, and all that you Oh, yet to do, Lord. We thank you. Lord, I will sing a new song unto you. I will bless your name all times. For you are good, Lord, and your mercy is good forever. Lord, I thank you that you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, Lord. Thank you that you Lord, my hand with all, Lord. Thank you that surely goodness and mercy you follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. 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 Our Father, we come. Thank you for your grace and your mercy, God. God, we thank you that we come as humble as we know how tonight, Lord God. God, we thank you for this opportunity to pray before your people, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, we thank you for what you're going to do tonight in our life in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you right now. If we had 10,000 tons, we just couldn't thank you enough in the name of Jesus. God, we just come thank you, Lord God, for waking us up this morning and watching over us last night in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for a roof over our head, food on our table, and clothes on our bed, God. Father God, we thank you that we are in our right mind in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that it's in you that we live, who we have our very being. But we thank you that our weapon, our warfare is not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down the strongholds. 
We cast down every imagination and every hot thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bring in captivity every thought to the perfect obedience of Jesus Christ. Father, we think that we don't walk by faith and not by sight. And God, when we begin to trust you, Lord God, we trust you for one thing, and we can trust you for it all, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you right now that you are very present, help in trouble. And God, we know that you're always here, and you do answer prayer. God, we just thank you right now that you answer before we even call you sometime. God, we come thanking you tonight, Lord God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We look up where like you need the church, God. We thank you that it's a need to meet ministry. We thank you that our members attend on a consistent basis. We thank you that they are 100% tired in this ministry. We look up those who have rule and authority over us. Pastor Robinson and Sister Sharon. God, we thank you right now that they walk in divine health and healing. We thank you that their home is blessed, Lord God. We thank you that their children and grandchildren are blessed in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we just thank you right now. We lose forth the Lord many strengths to go before us with new warfare in every area of our life. We lose forth the Lord many strengths to go and make our way safe and prosperous. Father God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. God. Eyes to see your here and the heart to receive your word in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that we walk in divine help and healing. God, we thank you that you bless every member of this ministry in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that you give them a mind to come on out in the name of Jesus. Give them a mind, Lord God, to stay with the fast, God, in the name of Jesus. God, help us to the fast, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to put this flesh under suggestion right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you right now. It's you, Lord God. It's all with you and none of me. Lord, you are blessed to be in the name of Jesus. God, we can do all things through Christ. That's the name of us in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we just come tonight, Lord God. We thank you right now that the blood is running warm in our veins, God. God, we thank you for life. And that life more money, Lord God. God, we thank you that you give them a life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we just thank you right now. We thank you for joy, God. We thank you that the joy that we have, the world didn't give it to us, and the world cannot take it away. We thank you right now for joy, like a river, God. We thank you right now for peace that compasses all understanding. We thank you for peace in our homes, God. Peace on the job, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for peace everywhere we go. And Father God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus as we travel and journey. That you peace conditions before we get wherever we go on a daily basis, God. God, we thank you that we have faith in everything our hands touch. You cause us to prosper in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we just come thanking you tonight, Lord God. Oh, God, you are worthy, Lord God, of all our praises, God. God, you are praised from the morning and the noon day. We would even praise you at night, Lord God. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord God, because you are worthy of the praise in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, your word said you instruct us and teach us in the way. And you would guide us with your own eye in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you that we do hear your voice. And the voice of the strength we shall not hear and follow. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that we are obedient to what you say do when you say do it in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that we do not have a procrastination spirit, God, in the name of Jesus. We bind distractions right now off our life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we just thank you right now. We thank you, Heavenly Father, because there's none like you. There's none like God in all the earth. There's none like you, God. God, we thank you for salvation tonight. God, we thank you for choosing us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you how you took our feet out of the murk and fire and plague and gave us a solid rock to stand on, which is Jesus, Lord God. God, we thank you for being saved, Lord God. God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. 
God, we know that this is a better life, Lord God. Living for you, Lord God. It is a better life to live for you, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you right now. We're calling the lost in. We're calling them in from the north, south, east, and west. Father God, we thank you they're coming in and asking what must they do to be saved in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you that you give them a mind to come on in, Lord God. God, we thank you for household salvation in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let our light shine before our relatives, Lord God. God, we know that we are sitting that sits on the head, on the hill, and our light cannot be hid, Lord God. We thank you right now that our light shine for you, Jesus. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, when we come to you, we come to you with sincerity, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we know you can do all things but fail in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we just thank you right now. Oh God, we thank you that you gave us a way out, Lord God. You gave us a way of escape, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we cast our cares upon you tonight because you care for us. Father God, we know that you loved us because you gave your only begotten son that we may have a right to eternal life. And God, we thank you right now for eternal life, Lord God. Oh God, we thank you right now that you're blessing our neighbors, Lord God. You're blessing our neighbors, Lord God. Help us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God. God, we thank you that we live in peace with the neighborhoods, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you there's peace in our neighborhood in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you right now that there's no map in our house. We thank you right now. We say poverty be gone. Poverty be gone in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus that poverty be gone. And there is no man in the name of Jesus. God, we just thank you right now that we know how to treat people, Lord God. God, we're not responsible for how people treat us, God. But we know your word declares that we are responsible for how we treat other people, Lord God. Oh God, we thank you right now that we treat people with the love in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we just come thank you tonight, Lord God. Because if it had not been for the Lord God on our side, where would we be today? Where would we be today if it had not been for the Lord God on our side? Through our trials and tribulations, where would we be today if it had not been for the Lord God on our side? In the name of Jesus, God, we lift our schools up to you, Lord God. We thank you for a strict protection from our school, our children, God, and our grandchildren, God, in the name of Jesus. All that are involved on school properties, God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus for a head of protection around them at all times. We thank you that unseen forces are working on their behalf in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we look at the bereaved families, Lord God. God, we thank you that the Holy Spirit will comfort them right now in the name of Jesus. Give them peace, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. God, we know that you are able, God. You are so able, God. You are able to give them peace. God, you're able to meet them at their point of need right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you right now. Oh God, we thank you right now. For healing, Lord God. Healing our emotions, God. Healing our heartaches, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God. That you're healing every fiber, every tissue, every organ in our body, God. We thank you for the healing, Lord God. God, we know that there are uh, consequences in the choices that we make, God. But God, you're there to forgive us, Lord God. We thank you right now that you are there to forgive us, Lord God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We repent of all our sins, omission, omission, God. We thank you right now that we are your children, God. We thank you right now, God. We thank you right now that you are our Father. You are our Father in the name of Jesus. Help us to be strong, God. Help us to be courageous, God. Help us to meditate on your word both day and night in the name of Jesus. 
We thank you right now. We thank you right now that we absorb your word in our spirit, God. Oh God, we just don't read it just like you read the book, God. But we read it, we meditate. Thank you, Lord God, for wisdom, for knowledge, and quick understanding, God. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. That whatever our hands try to do, we do it with all our mind in the name of Jesus. Father God, we think that we're not a man pleaser, but we seek to please you, God. We seek to please, please only you in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that our steps are holding by you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, you are help, Lord God. God, you will help us when nobody else will help us in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. All we have to do is just call a point you, Lord God, and you'll be right there, Lord God. You're everywhere at the same time, Lord God. We all can call on you at the same time, Lord God. And you always hear, and you always have to pray in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that you're son and shield. You give us grace and glory. No good things shall be holy. Now we have walked up right here before you, God. God, we thank you right now that you're teaching us to walk up right here before you, God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now that your word will not return to you, Lord God. And we can ask what we will in Jesus' name. Oh, God, we just thank you right now. We thank you right now that your thoughts are higher than our thoughts in the name of Jesus. Your ways are higher than our ways, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we just thank you right now that you are excellent, God. You are excellent, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now. Oh, God, we thank you right now. Bless the men that walk and not in the counsel of the ungodly, Lord God. Oh, God, we just ask that you help us to watch our company, Lord God. The company that we keep, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we lift our children up to you, Lord God. Help them to watch the company that they keep, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you right now that they'll watch the company that they're, they surround us, God, and the company that they keep. Corrupt communication, Lord God, we corrupt them in the name of Jesus. But we thank you, Father, that our children are seven times wiser than the world of kids, Lord God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now. We thank you right now, God, when they come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift the stand of the beast again. Yeah, yeah. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. When our enemy come up for us, what would they show? Please seven ways in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Your word say, fret not thyself because of evil doers, God. God, we thank you that we do not have to fret or dread because of evil people, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you right now you will plead our cause with those that plead with us in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that you shall fight against those that fight against us in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you right now that we walk with divine help and heal right now in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that you're reveling now. Blood pressure, high blood pressure, low blood pressure in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we think that we are eating and God, we watch what we eat in our body, Lord, putting in our body, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus that our life is in your hand, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now that you lift up our head, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we just thank you right now. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus that every department of this ministry operates in the spirit of excellence in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Every department operates in the spirit of excellence in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you right now. We lift this ministry up to you, Lord God. We decree and declare that the whole performance against this ministry shall prosper and every tongue arouse against this ministry that's already been condemned in the name of Jesus. We thank you tonight, Lord God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now for what you're going to do at the end of the fast or what you're already doing while we hold the fast in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we just know, Lord God, it's you, Lord God. It's all of you, Lord God. Oh God, we thank you right now. We thank you that it's all of you, Heavenly Father. We praise you, we magnify you, we glorify you, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we call upon you by your name in the name of Jesus. God, we seek to curse your kingdom and your righteousness in the name of Jesus. We just thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we just praise you. 
Oh God, we do magnify you. We glorify you, Jesus. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. That the earth is for God and the fullness thereof. We thank you right now that the earth belongs to you, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty God. And God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus that you can hide under your shadow, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that you are strong, God. We thank you right now that you are strong, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we just thank you right now that you daily blow us down with benefits. We thank you for your benefits, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. God, we depend, we trust you, Lord, God. We depend on you for everything, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. It's in you, Lord God. And if you say so, God, in the name of Jesus. We can do this the Lord say so, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. God, we thank you that we would not be so shaken our mind, God. Neither by word or deed, Lord God, we would not so be shaken in our mind. Neither by our emotions, God. We would not be soon shaking our mind about what people say about us. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. And we praise you, Lord God. God, we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus. That the blessing of the Lord make you rich. And added no sorrow to it in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. He making me to lie down in green pastures. He leaded me beside the sea of waters. He restored my soul. He leaded me in the path of righteousness. What is the same thing? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil for God with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they come to me. Thou prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. God, Lord, my head with oil, my cup went over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in my house of the Lord forever. God, we thank you right now. But God, we ask you right now that teach us to number our days. Teach us to number our days, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that we don't waste time, precious time, doing nothing, Lord God. We thank you right now. With our hands bound to the day, we do it all our might in the name of Jesus. God, don't let us waste time, God. Don't let us be distracted and help the Father. Yes, Lord, thank you. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus that we are not waste time. Father. We know that time is precious thank you, Father. in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. Sometimes we think we got enough time, but we don't always have time. So we need to make good on our time. And we thank you that you are able to help us with that help of God in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, be with us in everything that we do, God. Oh God, we think that we will always would acknowledge you and lean not to our own understanding. And God, let us not lean not to other people understand, but you, God. We hear your voice, God. And let us hear your voice only in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you, God. Stir yourself up in the name of Jesus. Trust God for all in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. If he did it for someone else, he'll do it for you. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you know this thing can you. We thank you right now. What you've done for others, you still do for us. We thank you right now. Oh, God, we just thank you how you bless this country, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, how you bless this country, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now for all the workers that come out on Sunday mornings and put things together, Lord God. We thank you for the choir members, God. We thank you right now how you've been letting us have good weather, praise God, for the service, God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We just thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Heavenly Father. There's no one else to thank but you, God. It's you, Lord God. Oh God, we thank you right now that we don't need to pass from the back. We know everything comes to you, Lord God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. I can just thank you all day. I can just thank you, Lord God. I just thank you for things that are so small. 
But I know it's you, Lord God. It didn't have to be. You didn't have to do anything, Lord God, but you do. You take better care of us than we can ever take care of ourselves. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that your word is connected to our feet and alighting to our path. Your word have I hid in my heart that I might not sit in this I thank you, Heavenly Father. You're my strong tower, God. God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus that you watch your word to perform, Lord God. And your word will never return unto you, Lord God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now. We bind the destruction of this land, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. We look at the president, Lord God. Vice president, Lord God. God, we tell them which way to go, Lord God. God, we thank you that they're sitting under God and counsel in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now that they're sitting under God and counsel in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we don't know where we going, Lord God, but you know, Lord God. Our steps are going by you, Lord God. God, we want to thank you for what you're all strong and what you're doing for us and what you will continue to do for us in the name of Jesus. Our life is in your hand, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you right now. We ask all this destiny in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, pray in the Holy Spirit. 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 What is it then? I will pray with the spirit, I will pray with understanding all of a sudden. I will sing with the spirit, I will sing with understanding all of a sudden. Where am I see I am on the street? Father, we thank you for the privilege to pray. We thank you for being baptized with the Holy Spirit because you told me we not to pray for as we are, but the Spirit itself made an intercession for the saints with Roman, which cannot be other. So now uh, he has searched the heart, nor will he the mind of the Spirit, because he prays according to the will of God. So God, we call in the will of God tonight. We thank you that we yield to the will of God, even when we don't understand it. God, we lean not to our own understanding. Tonight, we thank you for the written our path. Your word is a light to our path and a lamp to our feet. You're hasting your word to perform it. So, God, we thank you for performing your word. We give you permission and we give you room. We say, let God arise. That is in this child, Father God. We thank you for working in us to willing to do your good pleasure. We thank you tonight for working in us to willing to do your good part. Father, we bless you. We thank you, God, tonight for this good we bless you for the heroes, God. We thank you, God, for the increase on each and every side. We pray that only may be out in the parking lot of passing by the highway hearing your word tonight, God. We thank you that the word is going forth with boldness, simplicity, and understanding. God, we thank you that you would anoint these lips and claim that through my mind, speak to my book before us. Let them see you and appreciate no man save Jesus Christ. Speak in the midst of words of life to them here. Father, we will be careful. Hope so, brother. The glory, the honor, and all the praise. All God's people say amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. You may be seated just for a few minutes. Go and share something with you tonight. Amen. Last week, and you took off. But we're here now. You know, I thank God for you. Thank God for your commitment to prayer. Amen. How I many of you know and understand that prayer is like breathing to the human body, to your spirit? You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's essential. This isn't this is a, a preacher's idea, it's what Pastor Rob's idea. The Bible says men are always to pray like a faint. All through the God will call them, especially those to the solemn assemblies. And I often try to tell and explain to people that, that fasting isn't so much for God. Trying to get God to move, but no, fasting is for you and I. I, I heard one of the prayer leaders tonight pray and say that, you know, we thank God for bringing this flesh under. See, when we when you when you start fasting, stick to that fast. You gain control of stuff over there. Yeah. And if you remember one of our, our main instructions, the first instruction, you can take a zero off the top of my head. Now, the first instruction, we just want to count that hour. You say, can you not pray with me one hour? So I wanted that clock count down so we get that whole hour in. And something about that hour 
Like to call it that the get called people for the hour of prayer. And so if we can get where well, we can pray our hour together, imagine what you can do all throughout the week in, in your car, in your, your quiet time, in your space where there ain't nobody around you cleaning dishes, cook, cooking food, or whatever you like to do. And, and I don't know if you, if you like me, when I get deep off in this fast, like this practice come on me. Oh, ain't nobody see it, I mean, I'll be riding in the car and start speaking in tongues. Rah, 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 cause, so, no, they, they, cause, it, cause it's on me now. See, and that's what we want to happen for the rest on us for at least the next 21 days. And, and I'm going to keep reiterating fast and name for God. And we ain't here trying to get God to do nothing because we already know and understand uh, bro, people, that we are ready to finish work with God. So, so when we gather like this, we pray and now we need to get a little scripture. Is that all right? Yes, Is that all right? Amen. Let's go to, uh, 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 I mean, I've been studying personally. You know, I don't know where you all person in your Bible time or reading time, but I, I study to show myself to prove what we need. Now, I don't just study to preach. I study for me. I study for my relationship. I study so I can know the word. You see what I'm saying? Because I, I, I just believe, I don't know about everybody else out here, I believe you cannot know God outside of his word. And you hear me say it all the time, that I, I, you know, I don't believe the Lord is, is, is mysterious, because anybody mysterious does not write a book about themselves. He gives an open book. If you want to know him, all you have to do is gravitate and get in that word and watch what God begin to open up your mind and your spirit, especially when you start praying with him. You see, it's one thing. Oh, God, the Holy Spirit turned me loose for a little while. See, it's one thing to, 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 to know the letter. Come on now. Scripture says the letter killer, but it's the spirit that makes alive. So when we combine. Our, our, our study or our personal knowledge, but we didn't got our commentaries and a few uh, 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 books that we didn't, we, you know, we reviewed different stuff. Well, when we do that, that's good. There's a lot of people with secular knowledge of the word. But it's another cut comes on it when you have the spiritual insight of it. You know, when, when that word almost lifts up off the pages to you tonight. And so when we fast like this, I'm praying that the word as we get, we'll redevelop a hunger for the word, a thirst for the word. We'll realize within ourselves where we got off. And how far we got off. And, and, and how I need to be drawn back in. How I need to bring myself back in. It, it's not perfect, but the word should be perfect. In the beginning was the word, the word with God, the word was God. It, it, the same was in the beginning with God. Without the word was not anything made that was made. So if I want to develop a relationship with God, I got not just a studious relationship. Because when you know you talk to most studious people in the word, they, 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 I mean, man, it, it's just as dry as 40 old toes. And, and, it's, and you can tell it's not out of a personal relational experience. See, some people want to study the word so I can show off how much I know. But it's not how much I know, it's how much I'm walking with. That's right. See, if I, if I don't, if, if I can know the whole Bible, oh, that's man, I don't want to change the Holy Spirit. Turn me loose for just a minute. Yeah, yeah, you, you, it's all out in the internet, all around the world. Yeah. You may be just like, come in real quick, go to Holy Spirit in the Hebrew, but go to First Corinthians. I'm going to show you something. What I'm talking about. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then I'm coming right back here. We're going to read that. We're going home. Because I'll be dealing with a window every day. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be all right, bro. It's just gonna make me strong. Well, right, I think it's first Corinthians. Let me see. Let me journey over here. Put something in to hold my page where I want to read. Because I may not do nothing but read that to you tonight, and then we go on go on from that. But it, it'll just be something we can start chewing on and meditating. Because I think sometimes in this world which we're living in now, the time, when I say this world, I'm talking about the time people have lost their incentive value for really the things of God. We, we got a whole lot of believers that, you know, they just, we just got a call, you know, by the way, the spirit of heaven is hit, he, he hit us. Yeah. On, and we'll think it's not on us, and it's on us all the time, because I don't, I don't do what I used to do. I don't have a zeal, you know what I mean? And, 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 and zeal is just our efforts in, in, in doing our work, but it's, it's not actually what God wants us. He don't want us to just be zealous. And see, some folk with their routine, they just sell us. See, he really wants a sincere 
relationship with us. You know what I mean? When you ride, you just start talking. Hey, boy, that's right. That's right. See, there's people out here now listen to me. They say, God will talk to me. Yes, God will talk directly to you. Yes, right. Yes, I think I may even share with you about the story where I pick, you know, I pick kids up to school every day. And, 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 you know, two or three little girls, and sometimes they call me, and we get in the guy to call safe. And, and my baby grandma asked me about Yes, Lord. Let him use you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray before I preach. All right, go ahead. I ask you, Lord, that you keep us, Lord. Keep us coming on your love, Lord. Lord, I ask you, Lord, that you use me, Lord, like never before, God. God, I ask you, God, Lord, let your word, Lord, be used, Lord. Speak through me, God. Lord, I ask you, God, that you touch right now, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, I ask you, Lord, that something, Lord, be saved, Lord. Lord, that be edifying, Lord, to you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 I'll be coming from Ezekiel All right. 1, Ezekiel 37, right. verse 1 to 13. And it says, And the hand of the Lord was upon me, and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, All and right. sent me down in the midst of a valley, which was full of arms. Mm -hmm. And um, verse 2, it says, And called me to pass by them around about, and behold, there were very there were many, very many in the open, in the valley of low. They were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live again? See, we ask if, you, if there's the, the churches around here, they are very dry. Mm -hmm. We need, the church needs to wake up mm -hmm. and realize what's, what's happening in this time. Mm -hmm. There we have led we have let people in our church. We're not preaching on hell. We have let the gays have their own church. Mm -hmm. That is not like God. Man. If you, I want you to look to your neighbor and tell your neighbor to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Get up out of sleep. Wake up. It says, do you know what is happening <laughs> around? Do you know what is happening around us? Churches is dying. The church is dying. Mm -hmm. The, the truth and turn to the neighbor and say wake up again one more time and we need to stop getting caught up in our titles right. we need to start preaching the truth and not a lie we need to start we need to say that he said that he will raise up a nation that will obey we are blessed to be in the US some people in these different countries are getting shot and killed let me go ahead and go back down to, my, to, to the scripture uh huh. And it says, and he said unto me again, prophesy unto these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Yes, Lord. See, like sister, like lady came last night, I mean Friday night. She said that we want to, that we hear the word, but we're not doers of the word. Uh huh. We need to start doing the word and yes. instead of hearing the word. We got to hear the word first in order to do that. Uh -huh. I'm gonna give you an example. You, a dead person, when they die. Mm -hmm. They let's say they did I don't know how many days, and your bones are dry. Ain't no blood, ain't nothing in it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna act like as a, as a person with no bones. Now everybody know I have got how many bones? How many bones are in my body? Uh huh. Two hundred and six. Okay. Now, you dead? You lay across the floor. Mm hmm. All your bones ain't nothing on your bones. But once God said, see, in Lazarus, he he raised up Lazarus from the dead. Mm hmm. But we ask God. If he can heal the dead, raise up, raise, bring them back to life. But if we don't understand when God, when they are dead, when the bones are dry, we think there's it, that it, that it is impossible. But there's nothing impossible for God. That's right. He right. he said in, in there. He said he brought the flesh back upon him. He said, but then he said, but there's no air in them. There's no there's no breath in them. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and go back. And it says. And I will lay a slew upon you, and I'll bring up your foot upon you, your no, you, and cover your skin with your skin, and put breath in you, 
and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am God. See, some people question if God is really real. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. God is real. Yes, he is. And it says, and I, I, so I prophesied it, and, it, and as I was coming, commanded, and as I, was, I, as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, it's shaking. Now, look, every, now, you can't tell me this ain't, no, this ain't scary. You're going to hear every bone, you know, a bone, a, a valley, full of bones, shaking. You cannot tell me in the world that you is not going to be scared. <laughs> bones. Amen. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing on, ain't no flesh, ain't no blood. Mm -hmm. Now, all them 200 and, 206 bones mm -hmm. just come together. Now, it didn't say you was like only one or two. It said the valley. The whole valley. The Amen. whole valley. That's right. Full of bones. Mm -hmm. Now, he said he would raise up a nation. Yes. That was the nation that he was going to, he wanted to rise up. And it says over there somewhere else that that was combined with Israel, the house of Israel. And it says, I'm going to keep going. Mm -hmm. I'm on eight now. And when I behold, a slew of flesh came upon them, upon them, and they, and the skin was covered above, but there was no breath in there. Amen. Now see, we see God do this miracle. Mm -hmm. Well, the son of man, to say it like that. We see that there's there's a body, there's there's bones, mm -hmm. there's veins, there's flesh, mm -hmm. but we haven't accepted the breath yet. Mm. We haven't got it. We haven't, it haven't kicked into our system yet. Uh huh. And it says, Oh, ye wind, blow. Mm -hmm. And when immediately as it blow, it came and filled them. See, we have lost our anointing. Mm. We need to get back our anointing. Mm. We need to stop sitting down mm -hmm. on our tails. Mm -hmm. you know? Man, we just laying down mm -hmm. on the ground. Nothing. Mm -hmm. You need to stop sitting down and just singing all these all precious, precious songs. There ain't no wrong with singing these precious songs to Jesus. Mm -hmm. But it ain't. It does not call for you to do it all the time. The Bible says praise and worship. Mm -hmm. You can't just praise him and not worship him. Mm -hmm. right. You got to worship him and then you praise him. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> you got to do all of that. I'm going to keep going. And he said unto me, yes, prophesy Lord. that the wind, and prophesy unto the son of man, and, wind, and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord God, come mm -hmm. from the four winds, mm -hmm. O breath, and breathe upon these slain, slain, and that they may live. See, we, the breath has already came, but we haven't accepted yet. We have to accept the wind. But that's why I said the four wings. You might not get it the first time. You uh -huh. might not get it the second time. You uh -huh. might not get it the third time. But once that fourth time comes, you should get the wind. And it says, So I prophesied as I was commanded, and the breath came into them. And they lived, and they stood up upon their feet. Now you can't tell me, you don't went from, from being dead, it is a donut, mm -hmm. and nothing ain't got nothing on your body. Uh huh. Just, just ball. Uh huh. Probably, I say probably the state of Augusta. Turn into this. But once you see, when the Lord tells you prophesy and tells the flesh to come upon, uh huh. The veins, everything in that body, have to connect together. And the body of Christ, all everybody in the church, everybody that makes up the church, has to come together uh -huh. into unity. Mm -hmm. To come together to make the body. Just like they said on the song, the head bone connected to the shoulder bone. Mm -hmm. The shoulder bone connected to the back bone. Mm -hmm. And on and so forth. Uh -huh. With that, you can't come out with just, without no head. You need the head. That's right. Because if the head ain't right, the body ain't going to be right. The tail ain't right. The right. Yeah. 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 right. I'm, I'm going to say it again. <laughs> the head, if the head ain't right, the tail is right. The body ain't right. So, right. What you need to do is, you need to make sure that you have the head on. Uh -huh. If you ain't got no feet, you can't walk. Uh -huh. You're going to be in a wheelchair. But you got to have the whole body 
in order to the, for the body to function, you gotta have God in your body. That's right. For you to even to even function. Amen. When you sit back, I don't know if anybody do this. Have some over their eyes while they sleep, because you know they don't like to like to put the sun to come in. Mm-hmm. We have our I forgot what they call. I'm gonna say sun sunglasses. We have our sunglasses on our faces. To block the sun mm -hmm. from hitting at our eyes. Mm -hmm. But once we take off, we gotta wake up and take off them glasses mm -hmm. and look and see what's going on in the church. My God, my I'm, going God. I'm going to I'm going to eleven. And then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones were the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, Our bones are dry. Our hope is lost. When all hope is lost, there is hope. God is our hope. Mm -hmm. He's our justice, he's our freedom, and he's our liberty. Yeah. And it said that we have lost hope. Yeah. We are we were cut we were cut off cut off for our parts. See, there there are things, there are people that when you die, everything that's on your body, there's always someone that needs that part mm -hmm. to your body. Mm -hmm. And their pieces were cut. And it say it were they were just left in the dead full body, full skin, or full bone. It said it was broken in pieces. It was cut in parts. See, our pieces in our body, mm -hmm. as church, we, the arm is over here, and the other arm is over here. The leg is back there, the other leg in the front. The head is just laying in the middle of the floor. And then your hips is just, I don't know, wherever. Your fingers, your fingers gotta be connected. In order for you to hold anything like this bottle for you, you gotta have your fingers to hold the bottle. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can probably hold it like this, but I don't think so. You're gonna need your feet to walk. Mm -hmm. You're gonna need your knees for your, for your joints. Because mm -hmm. you can't walk without your knees. Mm -hmm. you need, you're gonna need your knees. You're gonna have to have your joints. All your joints connected together Man. form the body. Mm -hmm. All the bones in your body connect. Mm -hmm. You can't, but you still can't walk. You're still in the, in the process of being created. Your bones have all connected. All the bones have connected, been connected. Mm -hmm. That's time for you to receive your flesh. Mm -hmm. Now the flesh, I just gotta come on now. But you gotta pray that the flesh come on. All right. once, once you pray that the flesh comes on, the flesh comes on your body. But you gotta have your veins. Mm -hmm. And then after the veins, you gotta get your, your organs. Your organs in your body. You gotta, you gotta have them organs for your body to work properly. Yes. All them organs end up connect together. Mm -hmm. you, gotta have, you gotta have your heart. You gotta have your mind. Mm -hmm. If you ain't got the heart, you dead. If you ain't got That's your mind, right. you go. Oh, yes. You go. See, the devil takes over the mind mm -hmm. first. And then once you get down to the heart, I think I might have mixed, mixed that up a little bit, but I think it's the heart then the mind. But but once, but if that enemy gets inside your heart or your mind, uh -oh. it's gonna block, it's gonna block God from getting to you. Mm -hmm. God is knocking at your door mm -hmm. and telling you that you need to come on. Yes, he you is. need to get with it. Mm -hmm. But you can't get with it because the devil is at you. Mm -hmm. You don't want to accept the problem that you have. Mm -hmm. But once you accept the problem That's right. and know that you have the problem, you can be set free. Yes, you can. You need to have your mind in order to know what you're going through. Mm -hmm. To say things that don't that that, that you know don't do well, you ain't gonna never gonna say. Anything. Speaks of a sound and prayers and taking the sin. That's right. You're not too young to get the Holy Ghost. That's what he was saying. You need to wake up, wake up, and get the Holy Ghost first. Amen. In order to tell somebody, you know, sometimes you put yourself as we. Mm -hmm. Some people put we, we. Okay. The Lord be speaking to you. That's right. But you to get what God wants you to get. You get it. Mm -hmm. You wake up first. But love, love like to incorporate other folks mm -hmm. to where they won't look as guilty mm -hmm. as, as, you know, that they think people would, well, they think I'm talking about me. Yes, you're talking about you. God is speaking to you first before you can minister to anybody. Think about the valley of, of, of dry bones. The church is now, there are a lot of dry places, like Mother was saying. A lot of dry places. If the head is dry, the tail is dry. 
And they don't want you to prophesy. Prophesy means to preach and foretell the future. What's going to happen? Yeah, Tell what God have you to say. Say what God have you to say. That's Tell right. Him. Tell him. Prophesy. That we said prophesy to those bones. It seems very strange for you to sit here and preach and minister to some dry bones. Mm -hmm. Physically dry bones. Mm -hmm. But if God said preach to those dry bones, it's for a reason. That's Amen. right. For a reason. Now, yes, we knew we are in a time that where this is the end time. Mm -hmm. And as the minister spoke this week by getting back, restore back to God. Mm -hmm. Get back to where you used to pray. You, yeah. said, you know, when you first came to the Lord, you prayed mm -hmm. and you didn't let nothing stop you from praying. That's right. Telephone rang, you were speaking in tongues to the whoever on the other end. Hallelujah, mm -hmm. you were speaking in tongues there. Mm -hmm. And they hung, hang up. They don't understand what you're saying, but you wouldn't allow anything to break your spirit. Amen. Because the devil try to come and hinder you in your Right. Yes, he will. He knows precisely the time when you talk to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Lot, some people talk to the Lord while they're riding in their cars. Mm -hmm. He allows some person to come out of nowhere to try to cut you off. Mm -hmm. Try to, uh, 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 the road rage, yes, God. where you can cut your prayer. Mm -hmm. But prayer is the key. The yes, Bible says, and faith unlocks the door. Yes, That's what we want God to just have his mighty way yes, in God. us. Mm -hmm. Don't let us be dead and dry. And yes, don't, don't, don't say amen. I, don't, I personally don't want to be in a church that you can't say hallelujah amen. or thank you, Jesus. Yes, right. I don't want to be in there because that's not a place for me. It's dry now. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I don't know. I want something that Holy Ghost rain to fall on me. Yes. Fall on me, Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I need the Lord. I don't want to be in a dry state. That's dry right. Position. Mm -hmm. Even in your joints. If the joints get dry, Bones go rubbing on bones. Mm -hmm. So you got to have that sinew, that, that, that uh, the discs and the cartilage in there to keep bone from rubbing bone. That's right. So that's what the Holy Ghost did. He give you some cartilage. Mm -hmm. Amen. Give you some exciting moment, exciting times. It all comes from prayer. Mm -hmm. You begin to pray and talk to the Lord. Your testimony will change. Yes. Your songs will change. Yes. And God will bring songs that you used to sing when you first got of uh, 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 marriage of Christ, mm -hmm. those songs will come back to you. Amen. I'm not talking about baby, 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 and all that Luther Vandross and all them other guys and That's Teddy right. and Eddie LeBurton and his daddy. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about songs of Zion, the songs of the church, songs that, that are edifying, like you said, edifying to the body. That's right. I want him to come and find my works, that works I've done. Yes. He said, may the works I've done speak, speak for, for me. me. Yes, Lord. All the people that I had enough, mother was saying, I had enough sense in asking them to forgive me. Amen. Heard a preacher say he was a young minister, and he didn't know what he was doing. He was thanking the old folk for tolerating him. Mm -hmm. But he had enough sense to say, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Please forgive me for, for some of the stuff I misread, I misdone. Mm -hmm. You 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 pattern yourself after the wrong people. Amen. Uh, you pattern yourself after the wrong ones. Mm -hmm. And uh those those are the people you don't need to pattern yourself That's after. That's right. You gonna have to go like God tell you to go. That's right. See, I can't like I said the other night, I can't preach like Apostle Jackson. Mm -hmm. But I can support Apostle Jackson. Amen. I'm not a prophet, but I can support a prophet. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not an evangelist, so I can support an evangelist. Amen. Reading the word, it tells you the offices and the gifts that, that they have, the specific gifts yes. that each office has. Mm -hmm. Amen. One of the microphones are on. It'll tell you the gifts that they have mm -hmm. and, and where, where they are um, in operation mm -hmm. and what God will have for them to do. Amen. And, and that's what we want to do. We want to do what God tells us to do. Yes, Whatever right. you give, cover yes. your gift. I cannot try to be as, as someone else. This someone right. else. This All right. I can be is who God called me to be. Amen. Amen. All I can do is my job to keep them all together. Yes. Keep everybody together. Keep them praying and talking to the Lord. Yes. Amen. And, and uh, minister to them that are sick and go and see about them that are in. In, in, in a bondage or whatever, some sickness or whatever. Amen. That's all we can do is yes, do what God Lord. tells us to do. Yes, Amen. Right. Obey Him and, and seek seek for a higher place in Him. Yes. Seek for a better prayer life. Amen. Yes, That's what we want to do. Seek for a better a level of Christ where we can say, okay, all right. Amen. I pray. Yes, Lord. For seven days. I pray four of them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to pray five times. Amen. Yes. 
then you find yourself really talking to the Lord mm -hmm. throughout the whole week. Amen. I can't, the, the song said, can't let a day go by yes. without yes. praising his name. Amen. Can't let that. God is show love. Amen. Right. Love is what love, like yes. God said, love is what love does. Yes. And the love, yes, ma'am, love brought us this far. Amen. You know, I was, I was listening to a preacher. He was talking about how, how the uh, God allowed Moses to bring the children, the Israelites, over. Mm -hmm. And God loved them so much, he wouldn't even let the shoes get muddy. Mm -hmm. God will love you so much the way he won't allow what seemed to be for you. He won't even allow it to come upon you. That's right. The trouble that people said, why? When I was at that state, I went through this. But no, God, if it's God's will, he'll keep it off you. Yes, he Because he, he loves you. Amen. When you love somebody, you, you, you want to take care of them. Amen. If you love me, he said, if you love me, feed my sheep. Amen. 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 If you love me, you're going to pray over God. I, I don't want to see that individual go through what they're going through. Yes, Lord. I want to see them, God, prosper. Yes. He said, above all things, I wish, I wish that ye, he talking about us, yes. that we should prosper. Yes, Lord. And be in health. Some people always put good before the health. Mm -hmm. But he said, be in health. Yes, so when you think about it, you in health, whether it's good or bad, if you in health, even as your soul may yes. prosper. Yes. Some people want they they uh, uh they want to prosper in wealth, mm -hmm. but their soul is in a mess. Yes, Lord. I don't want to get up and minister something that I'm not living. That's right. Hallelujah, because every bit of it will come yes. back on you. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're gonna pay for what you say. Amen. That song that I put on a good form of dance of. Uh, 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 entertainment. Yes. They uh, sing and put on a show. Mm -hmm. A show band they call it. Put on a band, a show. Christ is not a show. Amen. Yes, He's real. real. Yes, he is. There's nothing about this is show, show. You don't have to pay to see God move. He's going to move anyway. Yes, Lord. Keep your money in your pocket. Christ going to move anyway. Yes, He's not pulling a rabbit out of a hat. We ain't we cutting chicken necks and slinging blood everywhere and praying over animals and all in this church. It's, like most said, it's a real house of God. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. We're not playing over uh, Ouija boards and, mm -mm. and uh, uh, fiddle sticks and uh, shaking rabbit bones. Mm -mm. We're not doing that casting bones and mm -mm. shooting dice and all that. We're real. Amen, amen. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And the rattlesnake, yes. We're not handling it. That was a man I read about. He, he had handled so many rattlesnakes and venomous snakes until he he, he built up in, uh, uh, in his uh, immunization against biting up the poison of the snakes. Mm. Now you know you had to be bit several times. And as the young boy was saying earlier, it's God that kept him from dying. That's right. Because mm -hmm. that poison is designed to kill. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I would thank the Lord sitting there said, let me go down here and help this ignorant rascal. <laughs> Handling these venomous snakes. Let me help him come. He think what he's doing is right. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All along, you're doing something dangerous mm -hmm. to your help. Tempting God. Mm -hmm. Dangerous to other people. Amen. I don't want to be one of those that's caught up in a false doctrine. Amen. False doctrine. Because we believe in the true living God. Yes, this God we serve, stick around. I tell you, just stick around and see what God's going to do. That's right. There's, there's another woman. I, I saw the news before I came in this morning. Another older lady. She was kidnapped from a system living facility mm. by the uh, cartel. Mm. They got her captured over, over there mm -hmm. in Mexico. Got some... some uh, Adults went over there to sell a product mm. at the flea market over there. And mm -hmm. two of them was killed. Lord have mercy. Two of, all four of them were found, but two of them was killed. Mm -mm -mm. So that lets you know you better call on God no matter where you are. That's you right. going to need God. Yes, you is. Old folks, I take him wherever I go. Mm -hmm. Carry him along with you. Father, mm -hmm. help us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Best he could. Best he could. It could. Amen. God. God will do the rest. 
God did it. They say, who did it? God did it. Amen. You better trust in it and your Savior, one that created your body. One that created this whole entire body. That's why we got to trust in him. Lord God. Yes. If you ever... Yeah, God got it. You ever been on a you ever been on a flight on an airplane and you wonder, Lord, don't let no terrorists be on this plane. Or uh, on the train. God don't let no terrorists be on this train. Yes, Lord. The other day they had one, they had a they had a uh, a flight coming toward Atlanta. It's supposed to land in Atlanta. They had to land this yesterday or the day before. They had to land at a airport way before they got to Atlanta because somebody was cutting up on the airplane. Now they've been lately they've been cutting up on, on several different flights. And the people are not tolerated no more. As they did with the other plane that went down. Mm-hmm. That person, the young man, got to cutting up on a flight this not too a couple of days ago. Got to cutting up and everybody on that plane, everybody could get to and they jumped him. They said, never again will you do uh-huh. what happening anymore. Uh-huh. See, they, were, they were trying. The Bible said he come as a ruin. Seeking yes. whom you may divide. Yes. 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 Devil wants your, he said it, he wants your mind. Mm-hmm. He yes. wants to put all this stuff in your mind. Yes. Trying to keep you from doing the will of Christ. Amen. He paint a pretty picture. Mm-hmm. Boy, he paint you a pretty picture. Mm-hmm. All the rest of the boys got, got uh, they got their little side pieces. You want to have, you want, no, you better get a hold to God. Mm-hmm. All the rest of them smoking weed and drinking. No, you better repent of your sin. Get yourself saved. Yes. Hallelujah. Get yourself in the Christ because mm-hmm. in the God because it won't be much longer. Right. You're not gonna have much time. Amen. Time is running out. It sure is. Time to get the Holy Ghost. You know right and wrong, children. Mm-hmm. Adults. Mm-hmm. You know right from wrong. It's time to get the Holy Ghost. Right. That's right. And do you not know there's people that are afraid to say Holy Ghost? Mm-hmm. They try to make it seem so nice by saying Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. But the God Bible speaks of the Holy Ghost. Ghost. Amen. Acts 2 and 38. Peter said, repent mm-hmm. for the remission of your sin. Mm-hmm. And on down the head, then he said, and the Holy Ghost will come upon you. Yes. Oh, they, they're just afraid to say it. Afraid to talk about the Holy Ghost. Okay. These are big time preachers I'm talking about. They won't say Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. They'll say the Holy Spirit. Try to water it down. You can't water down the Holy Ghost. Amen. It's powerful. Yes. Holy Ghost. Yes, Amen. Lord. You ask me, I'm going to tell you, I got the Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. That, that, that fire that fire keep burning on inside of me. Yes. I'm looking for a place of that's not created by man. Amen. Yes. Anything created by man hands is corrupt. Yes. I'm trying to go to a city. Yes. Hallelujah. Where where there won't be no more dying. Yes. There won't be no more lying. Yes. No more no more crying. All yes. uh, we're gonna do is worship and say, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Yes, Lord. Hosanna to be to the King. Yes, Lord. Hosanna to the King. That's what I want to go to them places. That place. Heard a preacher talking this morning about Abraham Bull. How Moses went to Abraham when he wasn't able to see the promised land. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. But then, then the Bible said, at the dead, the, at the coming of Christ, the dead in Christ shall arise again. I guarantee you're going to see Moses again. All of those great clouds of witnesses that went by, they coming back. Mm-hmm. They coming back and witness what happened. Hallelujah. And I want to be a part of that witness. Man. That's going to be one street revival, isn't it? Woo! Yes, That's going to be an awesome street revival. Yes, when Jesus comes, he comes down and, 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 and uh, uh, Gabriel blowing that horn. My God, my God. He blowing that horn and everybody says, there he is! Amen. There he is! Yes. You know what I'm going to be in my mind? I told you! <laughs> all the times I told you he was coming back. Amen. Told you to get ready. Yes. Jesus is going to be saying, I told him to tell you. He said, I told you when I left that I was going to come back. I told you I was coming. Mm-hmm. Why did you listen to Madam Palm Reader? Why did you listen to Sue Sarah? Why did, you, why did you read that fortune cookie out of that Japanese food you got? You read that fortune. That thing telling you something they think you want to hear. 
Are you really? They sell them. They sell them. Uh -huh. People are buying them. Oh, the, yeah. the, the, in the palm, the astrologers. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a Cancer. I'm a Libra. I'm a Capricorn. I'm a, I'm a, a, a Sagittarius. You better, you better send your child to God. That's right. Amen. I'm a child of God. That's what I want to say. Mm -hmm. uh, get caught up. Quit. Listen to this. When you worship your sorority, mm -hmm. you know more about your sorority history than you know about the history of Christ. There's a problem. There are some Amen. people serving their soror, their sisters and their brothers, they 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 uh they uh, 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 uh sorority brothers. Uh-huh. Then they serving God. That's right. Mm -hmm. Church people too. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. He told his followers to protest. Protest. Lord. Lord have mercy. And see what's gonna come out of it. Yeah, see what's gonna come out of it. See what's gonna come out of it. One thing about it, he worshiped that almighty dollar. Mm -hmm. He don't worship God. Because mm -hmm. there's no way you can stand his flat face and tell lies mm -mm. and say you're going to heaven. Mm -mm. Look at your neighbor and say, tell it lies. Tell it lies. And say you're going to heaven. Sure can't. It's, sim it's simple as. Who left the door unlocked? I didn't do it. Who broke that plate? I didn't do it. Who had, who had them cookies? I promise you, I didn't do it. Simple things. As, as, who time is it? I don't know. Simple things can keep you out of here. It's the little foxes. Yes, the little foxes to destroy the vine. Mm -hmm. I don't want something small to keep me out of heaven. That's right. As mother says, she had to ask forgiveness. Yes, Lord. And that's what you have to ask God. Please forgive me. Mm -hmm. If I spoke out of turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even though you did. Right. Yes. If it takes that for you to make it in, ask him forgive. That's just humbling yourself. Humble yourself in the mighty hand of God. He said, humble yourself. Amen? Mm -hmm. That's what we want to do. Stay right with God. Yes, I don't Lord. Know when he's coming. He didn't give, he didn't give us a specific date of when he came. But he he, he gave us signs. Mm -hmm. Then he gave us signs of his return. Mm -hmm. He gave us signs of his return. Mm -hmm. And look, they stack it up, y'all. They stack it up. Mm -hmm. Earthquakes. Yes. They had another earthquake the other day. It was like, a, what was it, 5.7? I think it was like uh, Thursday or Friday. They had an earthquake in some, some area. And at the equator. Avalanches. You got the, the floods. Rain. Snows. Volcanoes erupted. Those are all the signs of his return. Be like the old lady sitting in the mirror combing her hair and said, oh. She saw the death angel come up. Oh, who are you coming for? Did you come for me? They said, no, not this time. But next time, it's going to be for you. Mm -hmm. But see, people want to play in between. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. He going to let me know when he's coming for. I'm going to get right at the last minute. No, mm -hmm. no. Thank you don't know when your time is up. Show that. <clears throat> All that time you're talking smart. Being disobedient, mm -hmm. being hard-headed, mm -hmm. doing what you know not to do, Man. talking nasty, mm -hmm. telling them nasty jokes, mm -hmm. you're endangering your soul with hell fire. Yes, Lord. And for all the people that say the hell is not real, it's real. keep living, mm -hmm. and you're going to see whether the hell is real or not. Keep going the route you're going. And I promise you, I promise you, you're going to find out the hell. The Bible said it is enlarging Herself. itself. Mm -hmm. Daily. There's people dying going to hell every day mm -hmm. because they hard headed. Mm -hmm. They won't do it. You say, well, what's hard headed, Pastor? Doing what you know not to do. Mm -hmm. 
saying what you know not to say, then laughing like it's funny. It's not funny to be hard-headed. Amen. You're going to pay for your wrongdoing. Sure it is. We're, we're going to pay for our wrong wrongdoing. We're going to pay. Trying to live a popular life. What's popular? Trying to do what everybody else do. Uh -huh. We've told the boys all along, them are not your friends. They do not care nothing about you. But until you learn, you get to a certain age mm -hmm. to where you got to learn that those are just classmates. Mm -hmm. They're not my friends. Right. A friend would drag you to hell. Mm -hmm. A friend would entice you to do something that's going to harm your body. Mm -hmm. Smoking that, that, that nasty fentanyl. Uh -huh. And now it only takes one time. One. Hitting that pipe with that fentanyl in it, and it's over. Mm -hmm. You say, well, I ask God to forgive me when I come down out this high. Uh-uh, you may not come down no more. Right. It might be over. That's right. So when I, uh, I remember when I was coming out and gave my heart to God, saying living right, and somebody had snuck some alcohol. That's why you got to be careful when you set your cup down. Mm -hmm. We were bowling. And I set my cup down and went out there to bowl. When I come back, people will sabotage you yes, because they, they know how you trying to live. Yes, they will. They know how you trying to live. Mm -hmm. I, I brought the cup up to my mouth. <laughs> I said, who did that? They all <laughs> it's not funny. Mm -hmm. But the devil will try. He'll try. Yes, he will. I guess he wanted me to keep drinking. I wasn't drinking that mess. Man. Young girl told me last night, one of the, one of the, uh, one of the sister's daughter. She said, Pastor. I said, uh huh. She came up to me. She said, hey, Pastor. She weighed down. I looked way down. I said, yeah. She said, hey, I got something to tell you. I said, yeah, tell me. Tell me. She said, do you know your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost? She said, and if you don't have the Holy Ghost and you put the wrong thing down in your body, the Holy Ghost will leave your body. I said, what's well, saying, little girl? Mm -hmm. all right. I said, now who taught you all of that? My mom, my pastor, and my pastor wife taught me. Mm -hmm. I don't know how old she is, but she was telling the truth. Amen. She said, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And if you put the wrong thing down in his body, the Holy Ghost is going to leave. It it's just like if this building right here can get filled up with fire and smoke, we're going to get out of here. I'm going to tell you, come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. It's your choice to stay in there or not. Mm -hmm. But as for me and mine, we out of here. Mm -hmm. That's where the Holy Ghost is. It is not going to rain in your messed up body. You can't put all that mess in your body. And then say, uh, God is a loving God. He's a forgiving. Yes, he forgive you, but don't keep chancing it. That's right. Because he said he say he'll turn you over to a reprobate mind. Yes, he will. A mind of deceitfulness, a mind of evilness, a mind of let you do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You keep doing what you want to do, saying what you want to say, mm -hmm. going doing this and doing that. And a lot of them, they caught up in all these wrong things. You got, you got to change your mind. Keep doing the same thing, expecting different results. Yes. You can't live a nasty life and say you're going to a clean heaven. Amen. You cannot do that. Mm -mm. I don't think I can make it no plainer than that. No simple. You can't live no nasty life mm -mm. and think you're going to a clean heaven. You sure can't. Mm -mm. Cleanliness and nastiness is on opposite end of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. Being nasty, you're nasty. I'd rather see a person just low down and dirty every day than see one half dirty that day and trying to be good half dirty. You don't know how to expect. You don't know how to take a person like that. You're going to be low down and dirty. Be, be low down and dirty. Be low down and dirty. Don't, don't try to be nothing else. Don't try to be. Stay there. And then when, when God changes, you, come on all the way. Don't fake it. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the truth? Don't fake it. Amen. 
Some people say, just fake it till you make it. No, no, there's no fake in the eyesight of God. Mm -mm. You either saved or you're not saved. That's right. You either got the Holy Ghost or you don't have it. Amen. That's one thing about a sinner, man. He'll tell you who, who lived right sure or wrong. Will. They will tell you, no, yes, no. They Pastor, now, I might, they done told me several times. Pastor, I might not be right. But that right there, sure enough, not right. Mm -hmm. They ain't got no Holy Ghost. They know. He just come out of his pastor office, his, his study right there with a woman in it, wasn't his wife. Mm -mm. All this shuffled and everything. No, that ain't no, that ain't no man of God. Mm -mm -mm. Something about the devil. The devil tell the truth mm -hmm. on another day when he talk about it. Mm -hmm. Because what he's trying to do is give glory to that other demon. Mm -hmm. Devil like to edify a demon. Mm -hmm. But he do not want to edify nothing that got something to do with Christ. Amen. Oh no, he don't want to do that. Discussion in the church. Mm -hmm. You can go study it, you can read it. Mm -hmm. And the moderator or the person, the MC or whoever was over the service was trying to get a, 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 a statement or an idea across. Mm -hmm. And one of the men's wife was, back then, the women sit on one side and the men on the other side. And, and the woman was hollering across to her husband, What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. What are you saying? And that's what that's when the, the person that was over the service said, Suffer the woman to be quiet. Mm -hmm. He said, Act your husband when you get home. Mm -hmm. That would be so rude sitting on this side. Hey, what are you talking about? What are you, you know? Mm -hmm. Be very rude. But people done got it all mixed up. Distracted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They done got it all mixed up from where they come from. Uh -huh. That's why I don't argue with them. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me Deborah wasn't a minister. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me uh, uh, Aquila and Priscilla were the ministers. You can't tell me that that, that when Paul called a roll call, mm -hmm. he said he said help those women that labor in the gospel. Labor, amen. Paul had a whole row of men and women that he called out, mm -hmm. and you can't tell me that that there was only twelve disciples and they all were men. Mm -hmm. You search the Bible, you'll find out Jesus had some female disciples. And what were they doing? They were going about witnessing about what Jesus told them to say. When Jesus said the miracles they were perform, they was ministering, right? They was ministering the word of God, what Jesus heard from his father. Mm -hmm. But you got, the reason why they do this is to suppress the women. Uh -huh. But if it had not been for a woman, that male per person wouldn't have been up there saying that anyway. Mm -hmm. Had it been for a woman, we wouldn't have no no uh, no other species but women on earth. There wouldn't be right. no more men. Women are birthers. She even contradicted. Uh -huh. See, see, God knew what he was doing. Mm -hmm. When he called, he said, neither bond, neither free, yes, neither Jew nor Greek. Mm -hmm. He had to cover all the black and white and brown mm -hmm. and yellow folks. He uh -huh. covered the whole area. Mm -hmm. He freed them all to speak of the goodness of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. He's freed us all to minister the word of God. Yes. You can't tell a woman that God ain't told her to preach. You wasn't there mm -hmm. when God spoke to her to, to, to preach the gospel. That's right. You can't tell a man that God ain't told you to preach. You don't know what God told him to do. Mm -hmm. 
But all we can do is go by what the word of God says. Amen. That's what's going to stand in this evil time we're living in. That's right. That's what's going to stand up. Mm -hmm. That's your line of defense mm -hmm. against what the devil said. Mm -hmm. See, the devil said you are going to never amount to nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the devil said you ain't going to be nothing. Mm -hmm. The devil said you ain't going to heaven. We're going to make him out of a lie. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord. You're a liar, devil. Amen. He's he gonna say you 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 gonna be the only one in your family to say, devil, you a liar. Amen. You and your husband got all and fuss all the time. Are you and your wife gonna all and fuss and neither one of y'all going to help? You a liar and a truth and That's right. Holly, he said he told us to just believe. He said, trust. Trust and believe in me. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Pray and ask God to save them. Because yes. the priest said the other night, a, a sanctified wife, sanctified. A husband. That's right. It's a bird. And that's the best way to win them to Christ. You live right. That's right. You do right. Amen. You can't go to school telling them what how to live, and you ain't living nothing. Amen. We tell them all the time. Don't go there trying to preach to somebody when you're not doing it yourself. You one person at church, but you're nothing at home. Then you're three different people because you're nothing at school. You cannot do that. That's right. And think you're going to, that three personalities, you think you can do that and go into heaven? No, you're not. Mm -hmm. You can't be one person at home and another person at church. Mm -hmm. You can't be another person that people pay you compliments. That, that, that young girl, that she's a good young young girl. Young girl, you know she's ragged and toe down. Mm -hmm. That's that, that man, he's going to make an outstanding deacon in the house of God. Trust God that God can do it. Mm -hmm. But until then, they need to repent for their sin. Amen. That smart mouth. Mm -hmm. That lying tongue. Mm -hmm. That backbiting, uh, setting up people to get in trouble. Mm -hmm. We got some that like to set other people up mm -hmm. to get them in trouble. That's sad when an individual wants to set you up. That's right. And step back and laugh at you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got you in trouble. Mm -hmm. You think Jesus did that? And they said, they said with a, when they said, what would Jesus do? Jesus didn't set us up to get us in trouble. Mm -mm. He come to save them that are lost. Mm -hmm. And set free those that are captive. That's right. Those that are in bondage, he came to set them free. Mm -hmm. He wasn't setting us up for more punishment. Mm -mm. He gave you an option. You get right or you go going to hell. That's right. Don't let nobody tell you, Facebook. All these other thousand ways to make it to heaven. No, there's one way, and that way is through Jesus Christ. Amen. Her or the girl and all the other folk and read my palm, all them, all them uh, 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 therapists and all them, they got to have the Holy Ghost too. Right. They got to be saved. Yes. They got to know right from wrong and do what's right. Amen. The Bible says, shun the wrong and do what's right. They gotta be saved. Yes. Why are you paying a hundred dollars an hour for somebody to fix your marriage? How mm -hmm. all you gotta do is go to Christ. Go to God. Lord, say, Father, amen. forgive me. Amen. Lord, I repent of my sin. Yes. Help me to get my life right with yes. you. Help me to be saved. Now save me, Father. Mm -hmm. Now take me in as my personal savior. Amen. God, I renounce that wrong, the evil what I was doing, yes. and I accept you in my life. Amen. Change me. Change me, Lord. Yes. One thing about it, the only the main person that know you change is you. That's right. You know you. Mm -hmm. When that trial come up against you, the same one that's been keeping you down. Mm -hmm. When you see what God gave you strength to overcome, telling that same lie. Mm -hmm. My God, my God. Looking at that old nasty stuff you shouldn't look at. Mm -hmm. Drink that old nasty stuff you shouldn't drink. And smoking that old nasty stuff you shouldn't be smoking. Mm -hmm. I don't see how them people trust buying drugs from somebody else that done stepped on that stuff so many times. Uh, done put stuff in it. And, and how they how they do that? I wouldn't jeopardize my 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 life over something somebody else done created that might cause me to go to hell. Man. How you sit there and smoke something you don't even know what's in it. Young boy was smoking some some marijuana one time, riding the boy as Alabama up the mountain. He said, Pastor, I want to pass it in. But he said, Brother, he said, I, I smoked that joint. He said, All I can feel in my head bouncing off the guy beside me. Mm, mm, mm. He said, and They were laughing. Ha, 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 ha. He said, When I finally woke up, I was looking around and know where I was. He said, 
Then they told me, said, oh, yeah. did you enjoy that? He said, man, uh-uh, I'll never do that again. They said, well, what? he said, what was in it? He said, man, we put some embalming fluid in there, what you were smoking. Wow. Embalming fluid. So you never know what these people putting in them drugs. Right, right. But you want to try them just because your friend said, man, hit this, man. Hit this right here. It's going to make you feel good. Hit this right here. Or drink this right here. You better leave that stuff alone mm -hmm. and think about your soul. Mm -hmm. Think about where you, you take that one puff mm -hmm. and it could be all over. Yes, mm -hmm. no well, I just asked the Lord to forgive me. Oh, that, your, your grace going to run out. Grace will run out. Yes, it will. Keep lying, telling lies, and doing all this stuff. And far as far as acting, did you clean up your room? Yeah, yeah, I cleaned my room up. The children. I cleaned my room. You go look in their room like, told another lie. Mm -hmm. Now you got to give an account of that lie right there. You're going to tell mm -hmm. Did you pick that up, what I told you to pick up? I did pick it up. I promise you, I picked it up. And look over there, still over there. My God. Jesus see everything that you say and everything that you do. He see every bit. Mom tell you to stop doing something, you keep on doing it. Just because mom or dad told you to stop doing it, go for who you're responsible for it. You're going to pay for your wrongdoing. You're going to pay. Like the man on the Napa commercial, he said, you can pay me now or you will pay me later. He said, you can pay me now or you will pay me later. Think the Fram all uh, filters say the same thing. All filters, pay me now or pay me later. Mm -hmm. I rather get right with God now. Yes, because time is running out. Amen. Time is running out. Mm -hmm. There's no way you can sit there and listen to that nasty, dirty, low down blues, mm -hmm. and then church song come on. You, just, oh, I got it. I got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> listen, he said. There's a difference between holding and unholding. Amen. You got to put a difference. Yes, Lord. You can't keep doing what you're doing and think you're going to make the heaven. Mm -hmm. You're a levert. Y'all get in. And all them other, uh, 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 them other boys, mm -hmm. Bobby and all them folks, and they sing all them, them songs. Mm -hmm. Them songs are not edifying to the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. You say, well, my, my, my church folks, they, they play that music. They be dancing, two-stepping. You don't do it. You stop doing it. Amen. Don't worry about what they're doing. You get yourself right with God. Mm -hmm. Stop looking what somebody else do yes. when you know what you're doing is wrong. Amen. I just cannot handle it. Mm -hmm. You playing all of this nasty, uh, cut off the lights, close the door, under the sheets, mm -hmm. all of this stuff you're saying in this music. Mm -hmm. Baby, baby this and baby, baby that, baby. Why is Jesus said in all of that? Man. And then, I, I've been saved. I got baptized at the age of 14. Water is not guaranteed you're going to make it to heaven. Amen. I promise you. All the baptism in this edifying is a, is, is a customary thing. It's the edifying. It's a signal what it is. Mm -hmm. The showing you. That the Holy Ghost is present. And you can thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. You can go down a dry devil and come up a wet one. Oh, yes, Lord. Can I get a wet Yes, you can. I see them go down and in the water. Come up. They come hardly hold them. They shot them all over the water. And go right home. Cut somebody out before they got home. Mm -mm. Didn't get delivered. Didn't get the Holy Ghost. Yeah. They got something, some kind of ghost, but it wasn't the Holy Ghost. Amen. Time out for playing with the Lord. Yes, it is. Even at the age of 15, 17, 12, mm -hmm. 10. Time out playing with God. Mm -hmm. You say, well, Pastor, I, I ain't old enough. And yes, you are. You know right from wrong. Yes, Lord. And your blood is not going to be on my hand. Yes, I'm telling you, get the Holy Ghost. Yes. Today, this is March mm -hmm. the 19th mm -hmm. at 108 yes, PM, God. Yes, God. 7 West Blue Mountain Road. Mm -hmm. The angels hear me. I'm telling you, we all need the Holy Ghost. Yes, mm -hmm. Declare. Mm -hmm. I declare we got to have 
That's right. So, well, when I get out on my own, I, I'm going to do my thing. Yeah, you're going to do your thing. You're going to find out that that the down the road is crowded. Mm. The Bible said, well, there's several unbelieving souls. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that, that say they got God that don't have it. That's right. right. It right. is. It is. It is. I'm not saying. I, 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 don't, I don't do that no more, but you're doing something. I don't do that right there. My wife was talking about the Pharisees and Sadducees. Well, God, I'm thankful. I, I, I don't do like him. I pray four or five times a day. Mm -hmm. But you still got a nasty attitude. Yes, Lord. I fast three or four times a week. But you still got a nasty mouth. Mm -hmm. Saying all the more cuss words. Mm -hmm. Say all the more nasty words come out of your mouth. Oh, 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 that slipped. No, it didn't. Whatsoever in a man coming out of a man. Yeah. If righteousness inside of you, yeah. righteousness shall come out of you. Right. Can I get a witness? Yeah. I remember as a young boy, I used to, oh, ooh. I mean, I said I'm going home with mom. Ooh. When I got to grandmama's house, I let it fly. Blah, 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 blah. Didn't know I was dangering myself with hell. Yes. Yes. I was on my way to hell. Yes, I was going to hell. Amen. I had to realize, uh-uh. I told you when that girl screamed, passed around a preaching on hell, or whoever it was at the time, and uh, that, that, that young lady just hollered, I said, oh, wait a minute. Uh, no, no, no. I didn't want to hear it then. She screamed out, ah! Oh, no. They said, this is how it's going to sound when you go to hell. Mm. The, the hideous sound. Yeah. Loud blare. You know the loudest horn. Ah! The loudest noise you can hear that your ears can't all this thing. Just think of millions and millions of people hollering at the bone rally. Just think of millions and millions of people at the same time hollering, Lord, forgive me. I won't do that no more. I knew what I've done was wrong. I shouldn't have did it. I shouldn't have said it. Jesus, Jesus. Then you hear something mocking you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's what he talked about. He said, turn the deaf ear to you. I don't want God to turn the deaf ear to me. I want him to hear, hear me. If this is all it takes for me to just suffer, to reign with him, just let me suffer till I leave you then. I just have to suffer till I just work till I can't work no more. I'm just going to live right until I leave out of here. Man. That's what you should place in your mind. I'm going to get it right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get this thing right. I'm tired of playing with God. Mm -hmm. That pastor was up here preaching. It should have been a line of young folk and old folk. It should have been a line of people up here getting proud. Prophecy came the other night through the other minister. Yes, God. A lot of them sitting there didn't even believe what she was saying. Mm -hmm. Jesus. I said, Lord, what a society, what a time, what an era that we live in that people don't believe the word of God no more. Yes. Have read it. Now you said they don't read it from Genesis to Revelation, but they don't believe it no more. Mm -hmm. Because with their eyes, they haven't seen yes. if you don't if you do wrong, something will happen to you. Well, it didn't happen to me Thursday. Mm -hmm. I made it Friday, so God don't, he don't forgot about me. Yes. He said, God said, he'll bring everything to your memory. So if he bring it to our memory, don't you think he remember? Yes. He remember the window you was climbing out of. He remember that girl you were winking at that wasn't your wife. He remember you looking at them near our folk with their nasty low down self, looking at people from head to toe. All the way up. Mm -hmm. She got some pretty ankles. You ain't looking at her ankles. <laughs> that ain't nothing but the devil. Mm -hmm. Nothing but the devil. Yes, yes. And if you allow the devil to use you, he'll use you. Mm -hmm. You stomp your toe and some of them nasty words come out of your mouth. Where you going? You going to hell if you don't get it right? That's right. Yeah. Well, you see, Pastor, seven times seven, he forgave. Oh, you keep, you keep adding up. Keep adding up. Your math is going <laughs> to work against you. Mm -hmm. How many times do you have to ask the Lord to forgive you for the same thing? Right. You got to change. You can't keep asking, Lord, forgive me for cussing. Mm -mm. And soon you say that, you don't say it another one. Mm -mm. There are some times I, 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 I witnessed it. People say, Pastor, forgive me for cussing. Oh, I'm sorry, Pastor. I'm sorry. Just pray for me. Pray for me. As soon as the, the main cuss will come up and join that crowd, 
Nobody in here go back on the other side of 36. You see what you looking? You think everything been like this? No. What, what, what the Christian body needs to understand. This is not the way it's always been. And you need to understand that, that there has been some, some split away yes. from this doctrine. Yes. What we're reading right now, we're reading the apostles' doctrine yes. that was written. Yes. But it's been some split away yes. from this doctrine. Yes. And, and theology uh -huh. have taken a toll oh, yes. on the church. Brought the church into so much of a split yes, until there is no togetherness yes, in the body of Christ. Yes, All denominations got their own. Yes, they got their own agenda. Yes, Amen. Come on now. Come on. I wish I had. I just wish yes, I had a praying church. Yes, I just wish I had a praying church. It's got their own agenda. And, 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 it's, and it, it is so strong until the rest of us as saints done got satisfied with it. We just done got satisfied with that. Said, well, what can I do? Well, some said, well, I wouldn't leave it alone. Well, somebody said, well, I've been this way this long. Well, they don't need to be trying to change that. You understand what I'm saying? Who is it that is stirring up about getting back to the foundation? crossed up on that part because when we talk about uh, diversity uh, of administrative uh, administration we are not talking about different gods you understand see some people have taken it to be that we talking about different gods be the same law over all. And whatever, whatever happened in any administration, it is to be to the pleasing of God. And it is never to be against the scripture. But we got administrative work now going on that is that is, that is not, not pleasing to God and not and not not going by the scripture either. And, and then we satisfied. Yeah. Amen. We satisfied. Oh, I bet you if Peter was here, he wouldn't be satisfied. Oh, I bet a Paul here, he wouldn't be satisfied. Oh, Not from what I heard him say in the scripture. Oh, 
Like he said in Galatians, no foolish. No foolish Galatians. Who have bewitched you? He said, you've been bewitched. It's still going on. It's still going on. People still being bewitched. Yeah. But, but back to this, to, to help you to understand what we, what is happening here in, in a manner of a celebration. That's right. But you are coming. Now, now, here, listen, Mother Finna read again. This time, she's going to say you. All come. Not <laughs> she ain't gonna say not come. She gonna say ah come. She gonna say not come. She gonna say ah come. So she gonna tell you what what we come into. All right. It says go ahead, mother, with that. But ye are come unto Mount Zion. Yeah. See that now? Are y'all hearing now? Yeah. But you are come unto Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai. Uh, Jerusalem was called Zion. Heavenly is called Sinai. Jerusalem is called Zion. Heavenly is called Sinai. That's where Jesus is from. All right. Yeah. Where are you from? Amen. Amen. But you are come unto Mount Sinai. Yeah. Yeah. Mount. Get it, Mount? Yeah. That's elevation. Yeah. That's in the highest. That's in the highest. Yeah. Right. Jerusalem. Why don't y'all uh, get some kind of information? And read about Jerusalem. Amen. Have any of y'all ever read about Jerusalem? Amen. I ain't talking about just reading scripture about Jerusalem. You ever read in the history on Jerusalem? <laughs> Jerusalem was a chosen place by God. And we spell it, we spell now Jerusalem. But there's, there's 60 other ways to recognize Jerusalem. And some of it is called Jerusalem. And different other ways, but they're talking about, we call it Jerusalem. So Jerusalem was chosen by God to be the place where God want to put his name and, and the Israelites the Israelites they, they uh, wherever wherever they roam they had this ark and with the scroll in it and, and this this thing was placed in Jerusalem. Jerusalem was the capital. I didn't write that down. But anyway, Jerusalem was the capital. Yes, I did. Whoa, look at that. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. All right. Uh, the earthly Jerusalem was known as the Jewish nation Capital. It was that capital, and that's that's why that's why uh, uh, Pentecost was pointed there because that was a peak. That was a a peak operation of the Spirit of God. This 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 way they gathered together. See when you when you read. Oh, 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 that an act. See, you need, to, you need to understand that. And now we often say, 
And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, yeah. they were all in one place with one accord, but you don't know why they were there. <laughs> they were there because they had been summoned to that place. All, right. all, right. all in one place with, with one accord. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because that's the place that was the capital, and that's where God was going to meet with them. Yeah. 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 Understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's where God was going to meet with them. Yeah. That's where God did his extraordinary things yeah. in Jerusalem. Yeah. 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 Many miracles. In, 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 in fact, in fact, uh, Jesus was was born near there. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I didn't say he was born in Jerusalem. Because he was born in Bethlehem. <laughs> but but he had much to do with uh, Jerusalem because he was a Jew. Amen. He had much to do in and around that capital. He was a Jew. So so uh First King 14 and 21, uh, there's a reference there. Uh, also, Second Chronicles 12 and 13. Jerusalem was the royal city. Whoa. The only kingdom God established among men. Amen. God did extraordinary miracles, events happened in Jerusalem. Yes. This city has been called by many other names. All right. All right. But God's purpose remained the same. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. All right. It was called the city of peace. Uh -huh. God's purpose remained the same. Yes. He purposed this city to be a city of peace. Yes. Bringing folks together. Right. City of peace. So, so, uh, but, but you, but, but, we didn't come to that. Amen. We're still talking about Israel. Amen. Kid, I'm, I'm trying to get you down to what you come to. Right. But ye are come unto Mount Sinai. Yes. And unto the city of the living God. Yes. Oh, yes. Now, Mount Son. Yes, 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 sir. That's not a that's not a physical place. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. No, it's Amen. Amen. See? That that's that don't mean you we come Jerusalem and then there's another time over there where we come from. And this 
place I'm in, I'm inside. Because I'm, 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 this, this is where my life is. My, my life is in here. When, when I gave up, and when I gave up to come in, I had to give up that other way to come in, in here. Want to be the other way in any of you. But that's why he's trying to keep everything on a, on, on a physical level. But you come into science. You come into the, the presence of the, the spirit operation. Spirit. See, oh, we're going to read on down here further and you'll see the spirit operation. Uh-huh. But you all come unto Mount Sinai. Unto the city of the living God, yeah. the heavenly of Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The heavenly of Jerusalem. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now I told you a lot about Jerusalem, didn't I? Uh -huh. I told you a lot of things happening in Jerusalem. Didn't I? Uh -huh. I told you the big things happening in Jerusalem. Didn't I? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, where, where, where are you? I speak. Because I am in a place with him. Oh, yeah. And, 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 and the scripture said, the world can't receive it. I'm in a place where the world can't receive it.
Amen. Among whom also we had our a conversation. I didn't want to stop and go way down there. I read, read into it, mother. Read into it. Go, go, verse one. And you has he quickened it, who were dead in trespasses and sins. Yes. Wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world. Yes. According to the prince of the power of the air. That's right. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. That's exactly right. Among whom all happiness. Uh -huh. There is no congregation of the Lord that has ever received the Holy Ghost. Nobody. Amen. 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 People try to make it be that this is not astounding yeah. because they're trying to say that the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit yeah. is, is all, the, all in one the same. Yeah. 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 No, but, but the Holy Spirit has uh -huh. been at work all the time. Right. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. But at this time, yeah. The Holy Ghost was manifest. Yeah. Amen. Now Amen. we're talking about the yeah. manifestation. Right. See, y'all making y'all making me Amen. 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 We're talking about the manifestation. Lord how much? Yeah. All right. When 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 this happened, uh -huh. when this manifestation happened, this is a, a brand new manifestation uh -huh. from the divinity of God. They have never resonated in the earth. Right? Amen. And y'all can't say why. Y'all can't even say why. Because it ain't wild to you, is I guess it's just wild to me. Just wild to me. Uh, hmm. uh, the message today, the message today comes with a subject. It says, a waiting congregation. A waiting congregation. A waiting congregation. A waiting congregation. Uh, and uh, uh, when Jesus, when Jesus uh, was speaking to his disciples and the leaders. Uh, out of Acts 1 and 12, uh, and even before verse 12, he was telling them so much. He was telling them so much. If you look at the fourth verse, now, to some of y'all, this, this, this ain't saying nothing, but I, I'm, I'll be glad when y'all catch up. Amen. You know what I'm saying? I'll be glad when y'all catch up to know that what I'm saying is something. Yes, amen. And and being assembled, Jesus, this is this is um, um, post time instruction. It's post time instruction. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not. Depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which said, He, ye have heard of me. The promise. Say that word, the promise. The promise. Wait, wait for the promise. Amen. And, and, and a lot of people don't know how to continue to uh, work with this word promise. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. They don't know how to continue to work with this word promise. All right. But but a promise, God, when God promised something, mm -hmm. it's it's gonna come to pass. It's gonna come to pass. Right. So this promise, this promise, um, is is found using the word promise even in the book of Joel. Uh -huh. 
2 and 28. Amen. He promised. Yeah, you understand? Uh, uh, he, he promised to pour out his spirit mm -hmm. on all flesh. Your sons and daughters Amen. to prophesy. Amen. That's a promise. Amen. Well, all right. There's been many years since he made that promise. Yes, sir. That's right. But, but the promise has got to happen. Amen. Amen. God, God already had it predestined mm -hmm. in His predestinated will Amen. that it, that the time would come when the promise will happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lord, yes, 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 yes. can I get a witness in the house? Yes, sir. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. You know, you know. Let me tell you something. Uh, I what I what I I discern. During this time, during these times, I discern in the spirit that people is more caught up into some present thing that they expected than to have knowledge of the God who gives the day. Come on now, Listen, don't be so caught up yeah. in something you looking for yeah. and you don't have no knowledge about how to get there. Amen. 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 Yeah, Amen. yeah. Tonight is a night we say is miracle night. Yes, sir. And, and, and most, uh, according to the mind, yeah, the mind, your, your mind, most people think, well, we just come now and, uh, Pick up a miracle, uh, like like this uh, Burger King night. Oh God! Come pick up a miracle. I know some of you are thinking, Matthew, you sent out a memo this week that uh, asking us to wear our uh, favorite uh, sports attire, and I know you're thinking, uh, did did anybody? Did anybody in the house wear something other than, than uh, Clemson Tigers attire? Uh, 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 <laughs> sports attire, that is. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's that? Uh, gotcha. <laughs> well, some people thought that I wasn't coming to the party. But I decided to come to the party. I'm a little late, but I, I, I got to put my mic down for a minute. So. Oh, we twins? <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're twins. Well, yeah. Well, maybe not completely. Anything look wrong with this picture? <laughs> I only got so much of my body to cover. <laughs> so, all right. What looks wrong with this picture? Am I matching? No, not at all. I, some, some of y'all look like you're ready to cuss. <laughs> I was like, how dare you, brother? <laughs> two, two, two totally different teams well you know we just sang about you know Jesus having no rival having no equal but in the sports world there are rivals and I think everybody in this room and everybody who is watching that's at least local knows that these two are uh, meeting each other uh, this weekend this is uh, the famous weekend for uh, the two to come against each other. And we know that most everybody here in the upstate is rooting for this one, not this one. We'll go. <laughs> we, we got the few unashamed <laughs> here this morning. But I want to tell a story this morning about some rivals 
that uh, met for a little, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a face-off or what, but 1 Kings chapter 18. Go ahead and turn there if you would, please. 1 Kings chapter 18. Uh, I, I know I'd get a little stir in the house this morning doing such as this. Uh, this is a momentous occasion. I have never preached in any kind of uh, sports uh, t-shirt or any kind of attire. So this is a historic moment for me. First, Ki First Kings 18 is where we are this morning. First Kings chapter 18. Very... Uh, famous story, one of my favorites, actually, um, and I want to uh, look at this. Uh, I'm going to kind of brush through the details, not, not go into a whole lot of the intricacies of it, but there's one focal point uh, having to deal with uh, two rivals and a decision that must be made. Start in verse uh, 1 of uh, 1 Kings chapter 18, if you would. And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah. Elijah is the prophet of God. In the third year, saying, Go present yourself to Ahab. Now, Ahab is a wicked king. And he says, Go present yourself to Ahab, and I will send rain on the earth. Now, so they're in the third year of no rain. No rain. And God's saying, if you go stand before this wicked king, I'm going to give you that rain you've been, uh, you've been promised. Now, I, I can't help but put myself into this passage of Scripture for a minute and think, if I were told, okay, rain, you'll get rain, but you have to stand before a wicked king and you might die, I might think, Lord, just keep the drought. <laughs> but... The prophet of God was, was asked, was, was told to go stand before this wicked king. So he goes and uh, presents himself to Ahab, verse uh, 2. And uh, Ahab called Obadiah, who was in charge of his house. A uh, Obadiah, just a quick uh, uh, synopsis here. Uh, he took 150, or uh, 100, it says he had taken 100 prophets and hidden them, 50 to a cave, and he gave them bread and water. So he was doing something that was absolutely risky. Because Obadiah feared God. He feared God more than he feared the king. So Elijah's thinking he's the only prophet still around. O Obadiah's got some uh, hidden in the wings, if you will. But it goes on to say that, um, jump down to verse 7. Now, as Obadiah was on his way, suddenly Elijah met him, as, and he recognized him, and fell on his face and said, Is that you, my lord, Elijah? And Elijah says, It is I. Go tell your master, Elijah is here. Well, Obadiah is thinking, Do you have a death wish on me, buddy? Because if I go and stand before the king, all, all the prophets are supposed to be wiped out. That includes you. And if he finds that all the prophets are not wiped out, then uh, you'll be wiped out, and I will too. So, jump down, if you would. Uh, verse 18, uh, or excuse me, verse uh, back, back up to 17. Then it happened... When Eli or Ahab saw Elijah, that, uh, so now, now here we've got Elijah standing before the wicked king. He says, Is that you, O troubler of Israel? And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but you and your fathers have. I, say, I think this, this is a brave guy. First the king says, You're the troubler of Israel. And then the prophet of God says, No, man. You're it. You and your father's house have troubled Israel and that you have forsaken the commands of the Lord and have followed the Baals, the false gods. Now therefore send and gather all Israel to me on Mount Carmel. This, this is where the story uh, comes to its, its climax, if you will, or beginning to anyway. 
Now send and gather all Israel to me on Mount Carmel, the 450 prophets of Baal and the 400 prophets of Asherah who eat at Jezebel's table. Now Jezebel is the queen. She's the one who has ordered for all these prophets to have been massacred and, and she doesn't want a single one of God's prophets left behind. So verse 20 says, Ahab sent for all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together on Mount Carmel. I'm going to skip verse 21 for a reason. We're going to come back to this, and this is going to be really the, uh, the center point of, of this message today. But verse 22 says, Elijah said to the people, I alone am left a prophet of the Lord. Baal's prophets are 450 men. Therefore, let them give us two bulls, and let them choose one bull for themselves, cut it in pieces, and lay it on the wood, but put no fire under it. Now get that, no fire. And I will prepare the other bull, and lay it on the wood, but put no fire under it. Then you call on the name of your gods, I will call on the name of the Lord, and the God who answers by fire, he is God. So, who's supposed to be the one providing the fire? Our, our God or the false gods, one of the two. And whether it's uh, Baal or whether it's the God of heaven, one of them is going to provide the fire for this sacrifice. So they agreed. And uh, they, they go through the motions. And I want you to notice what happens here in uh, verse 26. It says, uh, they cried from morning till noon. The, the, this is uh, the, those following the Baals, the false gods. They cried from morning till noon and nothing happened. Have you ever noticed when uh, things aren't happening the way we want, sometimes we, we get a little desperate and we do foolish things? Well, notice what they did at the end of verse uh, 26. They leaped about the altar which they had made. So it was noon, and, and I, I can't help but laugh at verse 27. Elijah's, uh, he's got a little bit of a sarcastic streak. I know none of y'all do, right? No, no, nobody in this room has a sarcastic streak. But Elijah says, cry aloud, for he is a God. Maybe he's meditating. Maybe he's busy. Maybe he's on a journey, or maybe he's asleep, and you need to wake him up. I love this. So they cried aloud. But get this. They cut themselves to the point where blood gushed out of them. I'm going to interject a thought here for just a minute. These false God worshipers were willing to go to the point of practically laying down their lives. Because if you bleed out, I mean, it, it, there's no, you ain't going up from there. I think we all understand that. So they were willing to go that far for idols. And it's amazing how few Christians will go that far or even get close in dedication to God. I'm not saying go cut yourself because that, that's, that's satanic. Uh, God never for one uh, second says, oh, go out and cut yourself and you're, and you're gushing out with blood. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying at all. Don't, don't anybody read between the lines here. But they were so desperate for the fire to consume their sacrifice that they were willing to shed blood for it and even die. And I can't help but ask, how far are we willing to go? Not, not, not to ridiculous extremes, but how dedicated are we to seeing God's fire consume us? Not, not judgment fire now. <laughs> Just something to think about. So, obviously, the story goes on. No, no fire consumes their sacrifice. So then Elijah says, uh, in verse 30, to all the people, come near to me. So they all came near. He repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down, took 12 stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, and he said, Israel be, shall be your name. Then with the stones, 
He built an altar in the name of the Lord. Made a trench. Get this. He made a trench around the altar large enough to hold two seals of seed. And he put the wood in order, cut the bull in pieces, and laid it on the wood. And then he said, fill four water pots with water and pour it on the burnt sacrifice and on the wood. How many of you love starting fires with something that's wet? Well, all of our hands should go up, right? <laughs> Wrong. That doesn't make sense, does it? Well, then get this. Verse 34, do it a second time. Elijah's really lost his mind now. And then do it a third time. So they did. And the water ran all around the altar, and he also filled the trench with water. So this is a surefire way, and I'm sure all, all the uh, Baal worshipers were thinking, these people have lost their ever-loving minds. There is no way that fire is going to consume this sacrifice. I mean, there's water everywhere. Surely, no. Verse 36, And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel, and I am your servant, and that I have done all these things at your word. I want you to... to really lean in closely to verse 37 this part of his prayer Elijah was not asking God to show up and show out so Elijah could get the glory he wasn't I'm sure he was feeling some pressure but there was not a selfish thing at all his prayer was for the people there he said, hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that you are the Lord God. If there's any prayer that we have for Anderson County and in all of the surrounding area is that this people may know that he is God. And that Jesus Christ is the Lord and then there's no other way to heaven except through Christ. That should be our prayer. He said that this people may know that you are the Lord God and that you have turned their, back, their hearts back to you again. So obviously, at some point, they recognize God. If, if Elijah is praying that you have turned their hearts back to you again, at some point along the way, they had their minds and hearts in the right place. For how long, I don't know. But it would stand to reason based on this wording that there was a time when they at least recognized that he was the one true God. But they got a little sidetracked. Now, verse 38. The fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench now when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. But here, look at verse 40. Elijah said to them, Seize the prophets of Baal. Do not let one of them escape. So he seized them. And Elijah brought them down to the brook Kishon and executed them there. Not the turn of events we'd like to see. But I want to go back to verse 21, the verse that I skipped on purpose. You know, Elijah prayed this prayer that this people may know that you are the Lord God and that you have turned their hearts back to you again. Elijah made this statement in verse 21 as they, at the beginning of this meeting at Mount Carmel. And he asked them this question. How long will you falter between two opinions. How long will you falter between two opinions? Torn between two lovers, unfortunately, seems to be the theme song of some professed Christian lives. I'll say more about that in a minute. How long will you falter 
between two opinions. Elijah gives them this ultimatum, if the Lord is God, follow Him. And if, but if Baal, then follow Him. And, and I, I find it interesting, the people answered Him not a word. They didn't say, they didn't say a thing. I, I, I'm thinking that maybe at that time, you know, it was like, okay, whatever. You're, you're a whack. Wacko prophet. That's the message you're supposed to proclaim. It's weird stuff. So surely, what you're saying here, whatever, whatever, let's go on. How long will you falter between two opinions? The Lord's God, follow Him. If Baal, follow Him. Turn to Matthew 6 if you would. Matthew chapter 6. You know, what blows my mind about the Israelite people is they had seen already, even at that point in time, a history of God's faithfulness. They had seen over and over and over again God showing up and providing for them in wonderful ways Yet they still couldn't make up their mind if they wanted the God of heaven or they wanted false gods. They couldn't make up their mind. They were doing what Elijah said and faltering between two opinions. Because maybe, just maybe, and, and let's, let's be a little more practical now. I, as far as I know, none of you have uh, idols at your house. I don't think. At least they're not the kind we think about. You don't have any little wood carving that you walk into your house and bow down to. Or, or maybe a, a stone image that you go and bow down to. But there may be some idols in your life that come before Jesus. Maybe it's relationships. Sometimes boyfriends and girlfriends. Come before Jesus. Sometimes children come before Jesus. Sometimes money comes before Jesus. And we could go on and on. What does Jesus have to say about this ordeal? Some people are like, well, Matthew, you just preached the Old Testament. Well, okay. You, you, if you want to discard the Old Testament, look at what Jesus says. Here we go, Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. Verse 24, Matthew 6, 24 says, No one can serve two masters. Some people might like, <laughs> you don't know me. I can serve two masters. Look what Jesus says. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Notice what he says. You can't serve two masters. Why? Because eventually you might try for a while. And you might jump back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But eventually your allegiance, my allegiance, is going to lean heavily on one rather than the other. I have had people who have committed adultery tell me, well, you know, I, I did okay for a while and I, I tried to play it up like I still love my spouse and then I tried to play it up like, you know, I, I, I really uh, like my person on the side, but eventually the person on the side won. And the spouse, well, the spouse got ignored and eventually even hated. Try kissing two people at one time. No, none of y'all got a big enough face for it. I don't. None of us do. Even the most big lip person, and I got a singer in my mind right now. He's got the hugest lips in the world. I, I won't call him by name, but some of y'all probably know. Cannot kiss two people successfully at one time and be fully invested. Ain't no way. But some of us try to do that spiritually. Trying to have the best of both worlds. Revelation 3. Revelation 3. It 
Jesus doesn't go into all the details of what the Laodicean church was doing or not doing. But he gives a condemnation here. And I want you to notice that. Revelation chapter 3. I'll give you a few more seconds to turn. Revelation 3 verse 15. He says, I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. Now some people will try to say, oh, that's, that's just balance. I'm balanced. I'm not, I'm not cold. I'm not hot. I'm just balanced. I'm lukewarm. Well, try drinking a balanced cup of coffee. Anybody like just good old lukewarm coffee? Mm. After it's set for an hour? Mm, nah. Even 30 minutes. I, 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 want it, I want it at least more on the hotter side. I don't want it to burn my mouth. But I want it fresh. They were neither cold nor hot. And Jesus said, I, I could wish you were cold or hot. So then because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Jesus gives a pretty grotesque picture here, doesn't he? Common terminology here. God's saying, because you are lukewarm, it makes me want to puke. That's not the Jesus that most people try to portray these days. Oh, the one that says, well, you, however you want to be, it's fine. Let's all just frolic through the field of daisies and have a good time, whatever we want to do, however we want to live. And Jesus says you're lukewarm. Makes God sick. When we're lukewarm, we're trying to have the best of both worlds. And there's no way. There's absolutely no way. And I have to confess that this is not just a struggle where I, I come to you and I think, oh, all y'all have the problem and I don't. It's a struggle for every single one of us. Sometimes it's a greater struggle than others. But nevertheless, we all have times when we're cold. We all have times when we're lukewarm. And we all have times when we're hot. And God wants us on fire for Him. He wants to consume us. He wants us to be uh, consumed with Him. Not, oh, well, Jesus is the, the thing that I do on Sunday because that's what good southern church people do. He doesn't want us doing this on a regular basis. He wants... Our full allegiance. Unbeliever, if you're here today and you don't have a relationship with Christ, there's a war waging for your soul. And right now the devil's winning. But believer, and I believe most everyone in this room is a believer, there's a war waging for your witness. There's a world that's looking at us, looking for us to be salt and light, like I talked about last week. And some of us, we get consumed with the things of life and we become sour and dark, like I said was the alternative in last week's message. So I asked the question that Elijah posed to them on Mount Carmel. And I posed that to myself and I posed that to all who are watching or listening here in this room. How long will you falter between two opinions? If the Lord is God, then follow Him. But if you fill in the blank with something that else, something else that, you're God, that it's your, is your little G-God, He says follow it to make a decision. But my... My heart's cry to you today 
Choose Christ. I don't want you chasing other things. Why? Because I know the heartache that it can bring to you. I know the heartache that it has brought to many. I know times when my heart has not been aflame for Christ and I've chased other things. It does not satisfy. So the best that I know how today, I plead with you. Don't waver between two opinions anymore. Just decide, I'm going to be all in. Appropriate motto, right? <laughs> all in. Clemson lovers love to use that phrase. Let's be that. Would you bow your heads with me? I'm going to ask Caleb if you'd come forward and just play softly for us. Like I said, this, this message, I... Truth be known, I, it was like Mike shared the other week, I, I, I didn't want to preach this message, especially on Thanksgiving weekend. There, there, there are probably some that would say, Matthew, didn't, didn't seminary and Bible college teach you better that you're supposed to preach a Thanksgiving message on Thanksgiving weekend? I tried to talk God out of it, and it didn't work. <laughs> so here it is, and for whatever reason, somebody in the room needs it. And maybe today you just need to come to the altar and say, Lord, I've, I've, been, I've been torn between two lovers. I've been, I've been trying to love Jesus and then love other things at the same time, and it's just not working out. And today I hear the plea from my Heavenly Father, just, just love me. Give, give me all your heart. Give me all your soul. Give me all your mind. That's what it, the Scripture says. When Jesus was asked, what's, what's the greatest commandment? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. Maybe you need to come here and just need to lay some things at the altar and say, you know, I've been doing this thing wrong for a long time, and I, I don't want to do it like this anymore. God, in this moment, we're just going to make room for you to do what you want to do in the hearts of people. God, I know the devil wants us distracted because he knows if we're distracted, we're not leading people to Christ, we're not training them in the faith, we're not doing what we're called to do. We're doing everything but that. God, maybe somebody in this room today needs to say, I, I choose today. I choose today to stop trying to jump back and forth. I choose today to be fully devoted to Christ. Maybe you're okay this morning. I'm doing a pretty good job. I'm, I'm at the height of my, my Christian walk, and, and I'm doing great. I mean, I'm, I'm in the Word. I'm praying. I, I'm, I'm more excited about Jesus than I ever have. Maybe, maybe you need to be praying for somebody you know that's not where they need to be. And we're, and we're, not, we're not pointing down at them. We're not in judgment or condemnation. We just know that maybe because of life circumstances or whatever, they've, they've lost the fire. The all-consuming passion of loving Jesus more than anything. God, my prayer is that Oasis Church is a church full of people whose hearts are aflame for Jesus. Lord, may it begin with me. How can I pray a prayer like this if I'm not leading by example? 
God, let it begin with me. And God, we know that fire can get contagious. We are here. And God, we yield ourselves to you. Scripture says that we are living sacrifices and we are to present our bodies as such, wholly acceptable unto God, which is our spiritual act of worship. So God, we bring the sacrifice and we're asking you to provide the fire.